15 years ago, there was a war. Well, wars broken out here plenty of times before. They've tried to invade the Southlands through the Northern Valley time and time again. Luck was never on their side though, and their victories didn't last long. They didn't realize that times had changed. Facing one defeat after another, losing territory and watching their nation dwindle, they built up their industrial strength to unprecedented heights and used it to wage one final battle against the world. That was 15 years ago. They fought ferociously, but were utterly defeated. The Belkins then committed the unthinkable. They used nuclear weapons on their own soil. Seeing this tragedy unfold before their own eyes, the victorious countries vowed to throw down their weapons. The world was once again at peace. And thanks to them, it seemed it would last forever. On a distant island, far away from civilization, the protectors of the peace take to the skies. Red alert! I was in the sky, trying to get the training team in my viewfinder from the rear seat of the lead plane. My pilot in the front seat was howling at the earth below. Sorry about this. The captain's apology to me seemed misplaced. One instructor had survived the fight but crashed on landing. The other one was killed in action high up in the clouds. It wasn't his fault that the unidentified aircraft fired on us without warning. Nor was it his fault that the low altitude area where he sent his trainees was directly in front of the enemy. Eight people died because the command room had misplaced some zeros. That pilot in the number seven was amazing. Did you see her fight back? I couldn't bear to watch. Nagase, you keep flying like that and you'll die real soon. I won't die, sir. The only surviving trainee's voice was almost a whisper. Are you sure? You look like you couldn't hurt a fly. Her face was pale, but she still managed to smile a bit for the camera. The photo, along with my camera, was confiscated by base security. It was as if our little undeclared war never happened. I came to cover this remote island because I heard that a very unique squadron leader was stationed here. I didn't realize he was this unique, though. This bad-mouthed, good-natured old firebrand could take the greenest of rookies and forge him into a fearsome fighter pilot. Of course, that possibility vanished with the day's encounter. The only crew he had left now were Second Lieutenant Nagase and the few pilots that happened to be on the ground that day. I know you don't like this, but we're short on people. Starting tomorrow, all you nuggets are going to be sitting alert. If we launch, stay glued to me up there. Nagase? Sir? You're flying number two on my wing. 
Gotta keep an eye on you, or who knows what you'll get yourself into. At ease, people! But don't get too comfortable. It's a grave situation for all of us right now. Let's get this briefing started. Another aircraft of unknown origin has entered Ocean Federation airspace. We have confirmed the target type as a strategic recon plane flying at very high altitude. Despite our repeated warnings, it continued to penetrate our ages and was fired upon by Ocean Coastal Defense Force SAMs. We believe one of our SAMs damaged the unknown plane, but did not destroy it. Radar shows that the aircraft is currently losing altitude and is attempting to egress feet wet towards the ocean. Intercept this target and force it to land for identification. Do not fire upon this aircraft until further orders are transmitted. Shoot them all down, kid. You 
you mind if I grab this kill? I will, you know. Go ahead. War Dog Squadron, weapon sink. Hold your fire until further orders. Turning to engage bandits. That's another good shot. We're all in the same piece of sky, but we can never see each other eye to eye. Enemy kill confirmed. I gotta say, that was impressive. Don't let him get away! Aim straight! Hold your fire! My only regret is not being able to fly with a captain with a sunnier disposition. War Dog, I ordered weapons safe for all aircraft. Follow orders and hold your fire. Watch your six. Remember the fundamentals and don't get too creative out there. Do not fire at the target. Repeat, do not fire at the target. I feel like I'm the only one being targeted. You talk too much, that's why. You're the only one they hear. Enemy recon playing down. Aw, oh, what a shame. Too tired to party? Whoa! Those guys are really mad now! All unknown bogey aircraft destroyed. This is your captain. Can you hear my voice? Good. Looks like we can all hear each other. You all alive? Alright. Nice work, Nuggets. War Dog 4, you still following us? Well, to commemorate the fact that we all made it out of that battle alive, I'm gonna let you keep your nickname. From now on, I'm gonna call you Kid, no matter what. Got it? Good. Man, I swear. Emergency transmission from Central. The whole affair with the unidentified aircraft was covered up. There was even a rumor going around that it was actually a UFO. Officially, the world was still at peace. Having witnessed the battle myself, I wasn't allowed to leave the island. Why do they even bother reprimanding me anymore? I know I'm going to be stuck at Captain forever. Who do you think's covering up the battle? Listen, the only thing across that ocean is Murska Air Base. That's Yuktabanian territory. But haven't we been allies with the Yukes since the war 15 years ago? Yeah. That's why we got people working their asses off trying to confirm what the hell's going on over there. I bet they've got hotlines ringing off the hook somewhere upstairs. The government doesn't want to get the public riled up with all this, you know? But it doesn't matter. Soldiers like us are too stupid to think for ourselves, so we just gotta keep our mouths shut when they tell us to. I feel kinda bad for you, actually. <laughs> it's alright. I get to be with you guys. Captain's probably hating this more than anybody. Hmm? He used to have a lady friend over in Yuktabania. Ah, uh, that's just an old war wound now. A ship of unknown origin has been detected approaching the Sand Island coastline. We've confirmed that this ship has launched numerous unmanned aerial vehicles probably used for reconnaissance. The UAV will likely return to the launch ship for retrieval after completing their spy operations. You are to halt this operation by intercepting and destroying these recon drones before they can be recovered by the ship. However, do not attack the ship until further orders are transmitted. Shoot them down before they get back to the ship. 
Sure thing. You got that, gang? All right, let's go. Show me what you've got, kid. Our orders are to not fire on the ship, understood? Good. Aim only for the recon planes. How you doing, kid? Pretty easy, huh? Okay, let's hurry up and finish this. First the spy plane, then drones, huh? Are those drones remote controlled? The targets are small, so aim carefully. Hey kid, leave some enemies for me, okay? I'm glad there aren't any live people in these things, aren't you? So we can just shoot them down and not worry about it. This feels like target practice. You better not get sloppy just because they're unmanned drones. They sure use some funky evasive maneuvers. Warning, multiple bogies inbound, closing fast. Same attack axis as before? 280, same vector as last time. Jeez, how many planes they got lined up at the border? We've only got four on our side. We better abort. This way. Think you can stick to my tail? Good boy. I can't make it! They're running me down! Oh, you're taking the trail position today, rock and roller? Hold on, I'll clear your six o'clock for you. Damn it! Why'd I have to draw the short straw today? Everyone else, quit gawking and start shooting. Don't worry, just remember your training. Captain Bartlett! Enemy fire confirmed. Turning to engage. Edge, engaging. Heartbreak 1, engaging. Chopper, engaging! Wardog, you are not cleared to engage at this time! We're gonna shoot them all down, kid. You splashed an enemy without permission to engage? What are you thinking, Wardog? Break right. Bandit on the captain's tail. I'm on it. Alright, not bad. Enemy squadron has commenced counterattack.
The reconnaissance UAV and the unidentified fighter aircraft that bounced us during the mission have been shot down. The country of origin of the ship is still unknown, but it has ceased operations in our maritime defense zone and has departed the area. Once we sanitize our coastal waters, we will conduct a search and rescue mission to find Captain Bartlett, who was shot down. Furthermore, the Union of Yuktobanian Republics has officially declared war on the Ocean Federation. This was the room, or the cell, I had been assigned to. Captain Hamilton. Unlike his superior, the base commander who locked me in here, he's been very reasonable with me. He even got my camera back. He told me that if his uncle wasn't a soldier, he would have liked to have a job like mine. Well, we don't have any reason to hold you anymore. What do you mean? Yuktobania just declared war. They've launched an offensive simultaneously, too. Our naval port at St. Hewlett is getting bombed right now. There were only three of them now. circumstances, I'll be issuing an emergency in-flight briefing. Our naval base at St. Hewlett reports that Yuktobanian aircraft have launched a surprise attack on the port. The situation there is critical with widespread panic. Ships from the 3rd Ocean Naval Fleet docked at the port are currently under attack and taking heavy losses. Hurry to Port St. Hewlett and provide air cover for our naval vessels attempting to escape the bay. Among these ships is the aircraft carrier Kestrel. It is the flagship of the 3rd Naval Fleet and a critical combat asset. You must protect the Kestrel at all costs. Damage. We're clearing out of here any way we can. As 
escape the port and take evasive action. No mistakes. to the carrier after this. This is the aircraft carrier Kestrel approaching port exit. Roger, Kestrel. Who's that shit? The Kestrel takes top priority. That barge over there, move it. I know you want out of here, but open up a path. That carrier is valuable. Have you located the carrier Kestrel? I picked it up as well. Looks like it's still all right. The Kestrel is in open waters. Bon voyage, guys. All friendly aircraft, protect the Kestrel for us. This is Swordsman, on my way. That's our ship. Negative. This is AWACS Thunderhead. Swordsman, remain in the eastern sector. Protect our territory and continue battle. But that's my carrier! War Dog, provide cover for the Kestrel. Damn it, you pig-headed! All right, I'm counting on you, War Dog. Don't lose our ship. Most of our crews on the AWACS, Bogey Dome, give me a target. Bogey's inbound from Vector 280. It's no use, there's too many of them. Get a hold of yourself, your radar control is critical. I'm a abandoning ship, we're sending ducks over here. Come back here, you coward! Is he trying to kill us? What kind of captain is that? Range to bay exit, three miles. War Dog, this is Thunderhead. We need you to take care of the Kestrel. I can't see anything with all this smoke. Good. We're counting on you, War Dog. Don't take your eyes off the Kestrel. Hurry up and drop the lifeboats. The naval power What are you doing? Fire. Hurry up and get out of here. This is, this is it. It's over. Skin one was shot down by the enemy. Man, this is the worst day of my life! The ships are finally starting to move. Get out of the Gulf, fast! A-Flight, engage the enemy ships. B-Flight, attack and destroy the Gulf Board facilities. C-Flight, fly top cover. Establish air superiority. You got that? Roger, commencing attack. Enemy attack! Return fire! Calm down! The Just calm down! down. Ship missiles launched! Begin phalanx fire! No! Stop! You're firing on the docks! Missile impact 600 feet off port bow! Enemy planes at 3 o'clock! 3 o'clock from who? You're not helping us here! Those... Those are people floating in the waves. I shouldn't have looked. When that enemy plane crashed and covered the water in flames, there were people floating right there. I could see their faces. So many of them. Somebody stop this. I can't take it anymore. Kid, did you see that? So, you saw it too. That sea. We're out of the Gulf, but stay alert. The carrier's entering the ocean. Come on, whoever's out there, help us out. Get that bucket of bolts out of here. This is the captain of the aircraft carrier, Kestrel. My congratulations to all ships that managed to escape. As captain, I will now form a provisional battle fleet. The enemy's built a blockade with their fleet in front of us. We have to break through this and escape to safer waters. Good luck, everyone. All friendly aircraft, your support is requested. Blaze, this is Thunderhead. Are you clear on the mission objective? Roger, begin the mission at once. There's got to be an enemy aircraft targeting the carrier from beyond the horizon. Range to blockade line confirmed at four miles. Their formation centered around that carrier. Begin operations. This is the perfect chance to improve our battle record. Let's go. Stay on the lookout for inbound, long-range, anti-ship missiles. You don't have the skills to stay with me over this ocean. Radar lock! Maintain fleet formation. We're gonna break right through. Nice kill! I'm not gonna let them sink us here. BF-10, they're gonna lock on you. Get out of there! We're gonna break through the middle of that fleet? Guess we'll have to accept the loss of a few ships. Enemy ships sunk. Fox 2! Fox 2! Alpha 3! Enemy vessel 
the very 170. Give him your best shot. Locked on. You've got to fly faster. We're going to get slaughtered. The smoke's blocking my view ahead. I'm cutting in. Bring all the wounded inside. We don't have time to treat them. Watch the phalanx fire from your right. Kestrel, turn to starboard immediately. Your present heading will drive you right into their attack. Missiles incoming from aft starboard. Two of them. Fox 2. Phalanx at 12 o'clock low. Climbing tink. Gotcha. Anti-ship missiles ready. Delta 3, your current course will take you within range of enemy fire. I gotta admit, the enemy's got some great pilots. Our fighters are providing great top cover. We can do this. Captain Snowy, we entrust the sky die. above us to you. Roger, Captain Anderson. Enemy vessel sunk. What's the status on the other ships? Almost there! We're almost through the blockade! Locked on! Enemy ship sunk! Whoa! Where'd that shaking come from? Behind us! The top deck's been blown off! This is what we've trained for! We can do this! As long as we're still afloat, we have a fighting chance! That's one tough boat, man. Yeah! So, kid, does it feel good to be the flight lead? I see! Good, I'm glad to hear it! This is the captain of the aircraft carrier Kestrel. Our fleet has successfully escaped to safe waters. My thanks to our brave warriors of the sea, and in the air. Captain Bartlett never returned to Sand Island. The aircraft carrier Kestrel has survived the enemy attack and has broken through into open waters. Although the 3rd Ocean Naval Fleet sustained considerable damage, it's still combat capable. When the rescue chopper arrived, the captain was nowhere to be seen. The only thing they found was the retreating enemy intelligence vessel. This island used to be a place of exile from the rest of the world. It then became our first line of defense against the enemy. Lightly tomorrow, I wouldn't waste my energy worrying about that if I were you. <sighs> we're an auxiliary squadron, you know, so His Highness the Lieutenant Colonel will just come down from the mainland and take over. That's all. Phew. I love this sound. Calms me down. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I heard that the one who broke the captain's heart 15 years ago was a recon major in the Uke Army. Yeah, I did my history homework. We were allies back then. Man, the base commander sure wasn't being subtle about making accusations. <laughs> Was there anything suspicious about the captain's behavior, he says. Hell, I'm more suspicious about the screw in his damn head. Ah, you're kidding me. An air raid? Give me a break, man.
team, are you ready yet? Takeoff checks complete. All clear. We're good to go here too. Ready when you are. Launch preparations complete. All right, cleared for takeoff. Please, your altitude restriction is canceled. Protect our base. Whatever you do, don't crash into the airfield. Hurry up, or it's all over. Control tower to war dog. Intercept the bombers. Don't let them attack the runway. Missile, get out of there. I see you managed to make it up. Is your plane all right? Glad to hear it. Looks like keeping it in good shape has paid off. This is War Dog Leader, Lieutenant Colonel Ford. Approaching Sand Island. What's your current status? <laughs> Here comes His Highness from the mainland now. This is base control. We are under air attack. Repeat, we are under air attack. I trust you can hold the runway until we arrive. Right. Protect it at all costs. Fire team, stop the fire from spreading to our ammo dump! Get anything flammable out of here! The ammo too! This is Chopper. Ken, have you picked up the targets? They've even got bombers. They want to destroy the base itself. Attack successful. The enemy's confused and disoriented. Wonder how many squadrons we've lost. They're all burning now. We've got to keep control of the airspace over the base. The bombers that attacked us are turning around. They're heading back towards Sand Island. We gotta stop them here or it's all over. Even I know that. Kids, enemy kill confirmed. Rescue team, help out the wounded. All three hands, help the fire control crew. Use the water in the supply tank to put out the fire! Cops is taking off. Look at the hangar! Who the hell pulled that out? This is Grim. I was in the hangar helping out the mechanics. I'm taking off! The hell you are! You're not even out of replacement pilot training yet! Aren't there any other spare pilots around? I didn't see any. There's no time. Be careful, Grim. I'll cover you. I'll try. Kid, Grim's coming up. I'm not sure he can handle this. Are we just gonna watch? Roger, let's give him a hand. Control systems are okay. Do not allow them to get any more planes airborne. Grim's a prime target right now for the enemy. We have to protect him. One five, missile behind you. Kid's missile hit the target. Oil pressure, no problems. Who was that? That guy's nuts. Another one's taking off now. Damn it, a missile. Nice kill, Blaze. Engine sounds great. Thank you, mechanics. Make sure you're prepared to provide cover at any time. This ought to be enough. Projection system, okay? The enemy is taking off. Destroy them before they get airborne. This is Grim. I'm about to take off. Can you see me from up there? Roger. That's a relief. I'm in takeoff position on the runway. Engines, full power. Come back! Come back! Don't stop him. Let him go. My rock and roll records! They're in my room! It took me forever to collect all those! Yeah! Nice one! Enemy planes climbing up to meet us. Be careful! Get up! Get up! Climb! I'm airborne. Grim, get over here and cover my six. Roger. This is Airman First Class Grim. Call sign Archer. Control tower and all aircraft. 
I will be joining the War Dog Squadron. This is the control tower. Roger that. Blaze, take care of them for us. This is War Dog Leader. Sand Island, I'm out of fuel. Request clearance to land. Negative, Lieutenant Colonel Ford. You can't land. We're under attack. All friendly aircraft, cover me while I land. What are you, insane? Second Lieutenant Davenport, is that you? Yes, sir. I'll make sure to write you up after I land. He's trailing fire! The Lieutenant Colonel's gone down! Third wave closing fast. This is the control tower! Another wave of bombers approaching! Close fast and destroy them! Stay calm, stay calm, stay calm! That's some crazy flying! Rear's order to launch a game into battle? This base is toast, isn't it? If enemy missiles are inbound, check your radar. The missile should be displayed on the search screen. I'm all right. I'll just try to follow the training manual. Sorry you got paired with me, Grim. I'm a tough guy to fly with. You think you can keep up? Okay. If you're gonna crash, at least crash into their base. I hit it! Captain, you're almost within range. Blaze's missile hit the target! Control tower to all aircraft! All bombers confirmed destroyed! Thanks for protecting our base, everyone! Was my flying all right? Thank you. It was because of your support. Well, guess we didn't need to worry about Grim after all. Come on! Let's get a welcoming party going! You're cleared to land. Turn right. Three miles to touchdown. Two miles to touchdown. You're coming in too fast. Slow down. One mile to touchdown. Pretty good, Blaze. Stand by and prepare for your next sortie. We sustained damage, but our efforts prevented the destruction of the base. The base is still combat capable with repairs proceeding at a rapid pace. From the sky, the morning after. Pops came back like nothing had happened, as if the open sky had always been his one true home. Only 17 hours had passed since the war began. Yuktibania's war strategies seemed to be minutely timed to avoid giving Osea any chance to launch a counterattack. I got a notice of assignment as a member of the press corps. I guess Captain Hamilton had pulled a few strings for me. I didn't waste any time going to work. Second Lieutenant Nagase, inside the crew room. She's sitting by herself, writing something in her book. Nobody knew what she was writing. I realize these people may well be the story I was looking for all this time. In fact, I was sure of it. Attention! Listen up! 
The biggest mistake Yuk Tabania has made in their blitz attack is that it had failed to sink any of our aircraft carriers. We'll evacuate all intact carriers to our inland sea, then use them as a base to rebuild our counter strike force. You've been called to service on a very important operation, people. Keep that in mind out there. Today at 1500 hours, three carriers from the 3rd Ocean Naval Fleet will rendezvous at Eagland Straits. These carriers are the Vulture, the Buzzard, and the Kestrel, which has successfully escaped from Port St. Hewlett, thanks to your help. Your mission is to coordinate with the Kestrel and provide top cover for all carriers during the rendezvous. Should you encounter enemy attack, defend the three carriers at all costs. The situation is fluid, so be sure to choose an aircraft with good defensive capability against both air and ground-based threats. Captain, please choose my plane. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? So, we're going up in this formation? War Dog, launch. It was nothing. Easiest mission in the world. That's what it was supposed to be. It wasn't just us, but everyone they could get their hands on. General mobilization. Our planes filled the sky like a huge aluminum cloud. There was no way the enemy could attack. The queens of the ocean made it to the inland sea. We've got it made in the shade now. This is Thunderhead. We've arrived outside the range of enemy air attack. Permission granted to return to your assigned bases in sequence. Aircraft may refuel for the return trip if required. Hold above the carrier for the tanker aircraft. Everyone's starting to leave. Can we go yet? War Dog Squadron, I told you to wait for the tanker plane above the carrier. I swear, man. Hey, what is that? Is my radar on the fritz? It's showing up on mine, too. Where'd it come from? How come the morons at Thunder Blockhead didn't notice it? Yo, kid! You have to call him Captain now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you think we ought to report this? Enemy approaching! All units, return to your combat air patrol stations! Protect the carriers! We have three carriers. Don't let them sink even one! Chopper engaging. Archer engaging. Edge engaging. Edge, Fox 2! Target hit! I can't take off! Shoot down those enemy planes for me! Okay, I'm coming. Hold on. Omega-1, engage is out here. We near 12, engage. Hurry and launch the carrier jets. If we're attacked here, we're toast! Visibility is poor. It's the perfect time and place for a surprise attack. I bet they're coming after this ship. Yeah, I can't help but feel like everything's working against us. Come on, I can do this. I've been through a real battle before. Come on, hurry! Get me up there! Watch out for the reefs. Finch, give me the enemy's position and their number. Unknown. We're not sure of the situation ourselves. How did the enemy know when to attack? Something strange here, but I'm not sure what. Is that what an enemy attack is usually like? That's a kill! They're too far! We can't make it! Shoot them down before they launch any missiles! Evade! Move it! Radar lock! 
Watch your altitude while executing your mission. There's a lot of them. Captain, I suggest we disperse. Roger. Maintaining current formation. Altitude. Injecting! The captain's hurt! Where are the medics? Bandit, shut down! Warning! Enemy radar is tracking your every move! Blaze's missile hit the target! Full speed ahead! Rendezvous with the remaining two carriers ASAP! The carrier aircraft are airborne! Alright, I'm airborne. Come up and get me. Oh, they're finally here! What took you guys so long? All personnel to battle stations! Captain Snow, you're responsible for the air defense effort. Roger, Captain. Like I won't let you down. Engage. All right, gentlemen. It's time to clean house. Those bastards think they can just come in and start circling us, huh? All aircraft, disperse and proceed to your targets. Carry out your mission to the end. They're moving in a straight line. Just shoot, and you'll hit them. Radar lock! Alright! Direct hit! We have to protect the carrier, no matter what. Multiple bandits on radar! Heads up! They're carrying long-range anti-ship missiles! Do not allow them to get in range! Fly out to intercept! Again, it seems some of these guys are packing anti-ship missiles. Can you see any? Me neither, but it'll be trouble if they are out there. We'll take them before they can approach the ships. Enemy fighters closing in on carrier. Don't repeat the mistakes we made last time. Warning! Enemy fighters within range to fire anti-ship missiles. Defend the carrier. This is the aircraft carrier, Vulture. Missile strike off our bow. Severe shockwaves. This is Halo 2. Have the three carriers met up yet? This is the Kestrel. It'll be a little longer before we meet. Roger. Don't take too long. All enemy attack planes confirmed destroyed. Area sanitized. Nice work, War Dog. War Dog, your air defense mission is complete. Hold for the tanker aircraft above the Kestrel. Ballistic missile incoming! A ballistic missile? Where'd they launch that from? Hey, what's that? Ah! I've been hit! I'm out of control! I'm blind on the guy at my six! It's no good. Allied the squadron squad wiped out! Much. What happened? Did the sun just... The carrier! Run? The carrier's hit! It it's tipping! Someone! Our planes are all Anyone. going down! What's happening? I don't know. Everything below 5,000 feet was just annihilated. Second missile incoming. Damn it. Listen up. If you want to survive, then climb above 5,000 feet before that thing hits. All units, move it. Emergency Evasive action. Almost there. What are we gonna do, kid? I'll follow you. Quit your chattering and just climb. How do you know we'll be safe even if we climb? I can't gain altitude. Hey guys, I need a little help Are they sure here. it's 5,000 feet? Climb. I can't. This There's is Archer. No Roger. I'll follow feet. you, Captain. Full power. I can't get any more out of my engines. People are spilling off climb. the decks. Climb. There goes another ship. Currently at 3,000 feet. Ten seconds to next impact. Eight. Seven. Five, four, three, two, one, impact! I'm hit! I'm, I'm losing altitude! Oh no! Another one! Into that steel the vulture took a direct hit! She's sinking! How, How could this reach? happen to our fleet? Our planes were blown Heavy away damage! Like All planes. hands! Abandoned ship! It's a trap! What the, the hell was that attack? It was like molten steel raining down, down on us! What's going on? No. Somebody tell me! Is that the buzzer? How did we come to this? This much damage. This is the Kestrel. All surviving aircraft, respond. This is Swordsman. I managed to stay alive. Looks like the War Dog Squad made it too. Two aircraft carriers lost. I can't believe it.
this is all that's left of our force. We don't have enough fuel to get back to base either. Warthog Squadron, we can't get a tanker aircraft over to you. Proceed northeast to higher lock base, land and refuel. Hey, kid! You really should start calling him captain. Forget it. If he's a captain, then I want him to start trash talking like a captain. Man, I'm missing that voice real bad now. He's got us back alive from battle for the second time. As far as I'm concerned, he's our captain now. That's right. And I'll never lose my lead plane again. No matter what. The enemy attack squadron has withdrawn from the area. The aircraft carriers Vulture and Buzzard were sunk by a powerful burst missile attack. According to hydrophone data analysis, we have determined that the attack was carried out by the Sinfaxi, a Yuktobanian underwater attack carrier. The specs of this ship are unknown, but its existence confirms that the advanced shipbuilding efforts of the Yuktobanians have been going on unabated since the previous war. The Sinfaxi is a serious threat to our objectives. Emergency transmission from Central. Our army has decided to deploy the military power of the Arkbird to neutralize the grave threat posed by this new enemy submarine. We set off for the northern region to refuel. This place is paradise compared to what's further ahead. Beyond our destination lies the closed gate to Nord Belka. Fifteen years ago, the Belkin set off seven nuclear bombs there to stave off the advancing Allied forces, entombing themselves in the frozen valleys to the north. That bit of history should have been enough of a lesson for us all. The seven Belkin cities near the gate were vaporized, and the local area is still highly radioactive. Our landing point was in the state of North Ossia, formerly a haven for Belkins, but now entrusted to Ossia. If you refer to it by that name in front of the local he will put a scowl on his face and tell you that this is South Belka. Higher Lark meant a lot to us. Our flight training took place here on this airfield. On the base, we were surrounded by junior cadets, eager to hear war stories. The newspaper article about us, written by that journalist Jeanette, made it here faster than we did. Somewhere along the line, we had become the most experienced pilots in the entire world. Us, Captain Bartlett's nuggets. We were directed to take these inexperienced pilots back with us to Sand Island when we returned. Man, we better thank Pops for this. Like that. Cuz, he's the guy who pounded basic fighter maneuvers into us. Now we can lord it over all these guys. You said it. These pilots had only a tenuous grasp of flying, much less mid-air refueling. So we had to land at every base along the way. I can't believe we have to send them off to guard the western coastline. An SSTO craft launch facility lies to the east of our current location, McNeely Air Force Base. The facility was a collaborative project between Osea and Yuktobani. It was built to be a bridge to outer space with a mass driver 7.5 miles in length. Our radar has detected several planes from a Yuktobanian squadron approaching the facility from several directions. The facility is currently conducting pre-launch operations for an SSTO craft. The base commander will provide you with further orders. This is the commander of McNeely Air Force Base. All units, including those refueling at this base, are now under my command. Engage the incoming enemy. All untrained pilots are barred from taking off. Those guys are still kids.
Ten minutes to launch. Commencing countdown. I remember this space center well. The mass driver was built by Osea and Yuktabania as part of their collaborative efforts to construct an international space station. Our anti-war president used the surplus funds that came from cutting the defense budget to build it. Is that the Arkbird? The Arkbird. A white bird built as the first step toward the realization of the space station project. Now it's left its orbit and is just low enough to graze the atmosphere. It's coming down to pick up the laser cannon they're about to launch. They were building a bridge of peace that would span into outer space. Not anymore. The machinery meant for this peaceful mission was about to be used for our counterattack. Hey, listen. Yes? Isn't that thing supposed to work like a satellite? Why did it climb down all this way? It's a maneuverable orbiting spacecraft. I know that. I'm just saying, if the system uses atmospheric friction to change its orbit, then wouldn't that make it pretty hard to defend itself? Hmm. I guess it'd be in trouble if someone started firing at it right now. Yeah. So shouldn't it be higher up then? Continue countdown. Three minutes to launch. Halt the countdown. Enemy incoming. This is the Base Air Defense Command. The enemy has a large formation of transport planes escorted by a squadron of fighters. They're conducting an air assault to capture this base. What? They're actually planning to invade Osea? If we shoot the parachutes before the tanks detach, we'll smash them into the ground. You with me? I guess we don't have any other choice. I can't believe that's our strategy. Airborne tanks are dropping from the transport plane! Can you count all those parachutes? I gave up already! Destroy all airborne ACVs. Engage them in the air and on ground. The ACVs are moving this way. Don't let them get near the mass driver! He's right. It'd be crazy to try to launch in the middle of all that enemy fire. Some of the tanks appear to have taken damage when they hit the ground. Chief, this is unacceptable. Please restart the countdown. I'm on orders from our air defense commander. We have to comply. Throw the Molotov cocktails! The captain's missile impacted the target. It's all over if the tanks break through. Blaze, do you think our forces are sufficient? I'd like to think so too. But they even had to call us out, you know? This is the West Sector Defense Force. The enemy has broken through Pillbox 1. Direct hit! Damage report! Box 2, Box 2. We're getting requests from every team to restart the launch. Nice kill! Captain. The enemy is spread out over a large area. Should we split up to engage them? This is Archer. Understood. We wouldn't want to lose our formation balance. Yes! Missile hit! 
Box two, box two. The tanks are getting close. I can see them from here.
waste any more time. Fox 2, one minute left. Have a safe trip. Damn it! Is this it for us? The Air Force will get us through this. I know they will, so don't give up! Come on, have they launched yet? If the tide of battle doesn't change soon, we're in deep trouble. Countdown! 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Enemy planes approaching. Take cover. We're gonna launch this thing if it kills us. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off. SSTO increasing speed. SSTO passing checkpoint one. Passing checkpoint two. Passing checkpoint three. Mass driver hit by cruise missile! SSTO status report. Everything's clear. All systems are go. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. It's a beautiful sight. This is great. Observation room reporting. The SSTO is climbing smoothly. Congratulations. <laughs> The white bird rose up once again, laser cannon in its wings. It was a moving sight. In my heart, though, I wished it didn't have to be used in war. None of them found out why the enemy targeted the base until much later. Of course, by that time, it was too late. We prevented the Yuktobanian army from capturing the launch facility. The SSTO launch was successful. The SSTO docked with the Arkbird, which had descended into the upper atmosphere, and successfully transferred a laser weapon module over to the craft. All aircraft with the 108th Tactical Fighter Squadron and the Sand Island Detachment return to base as soon as rearming and refueling operations are complete. You people are like the plague, you know that? The moment you return to Sand Island, this happens. A large combined force of Yuktobanian vessels and aircraft has been detected advancing in the ocean directly toward Sand Island from the west. Our intelligence has confirmed the presence of amphibious assault ships within the oncoming fleet. We believe the enemy's goal is to conduct a landing operation on Sand Island and capture this base. Close with the enemy, disrupt landing operations, and suppress their naval gunfire directed at our forces ashore. Even if this turns into a ground war, I am prepared to fight for this island to the bitter end. With my advanced guard, I want you to forget everything else. Concentrate on dealing a lethal blow to the incoming enemy invasion fleet. We'll be deploying everything we've got. Launch every aircraft capable of anti-ship combat, regardless of combat experience.
Captain, please choose my plane. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? So, we're going up in this formation? War Dog, launch. This is AWAX Thunderhead. All units, listen carefully. Ah, uh, I missed that sweet voice. Say, you get that from your mama's side of the family? Cut the chatter. First enemy wave, bearing 280 degrees. You are cleared to engage on site. It's too risky to bring the nuggets here. I'm with you on that. You agree, kid? Seriously, they got their hands full just keeping their planes in the air. If we make it back alive, there's something I want to ask you, if that's all right. Thank you. It's just something I have to know.
pull away from enemy sub. Locked on. Begin data link. Looks like the enemy stopped playing nice. Arkbird firing laser. Missile destroyed. We did it. What was that light? They shot that from outer space? I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna get out of this alive! I know it! This was what they launched that day? Don't panic! We haven't lost yet! Oh no! They're launching more missiles! Number three! Number four! Number five! There's too many! Come on, Arkbird! Use your lasers! The Nuggets are gonna get killed! Formation. The remaining enemy forces are regaining their momentum. Blue Hound, this is Arkbird. Is that sonar buoy data available yet? Roger, we're sending it now. What are you gonna do? Countdown to firing. Five, four, three, two, one. The Arkbird shot a laser into the ocean! Explosion in the water. It damaged the submerged Synthaxi, picking up sounds of main ballast below. The Synthaxi surfacing. Fox 2! Fox 2! Missile hit! 
The Arkbird was successfully employed over the forward edge of the battle area. The enemy amphibious force attacking Sand Island was repelled, and their invasion plans halted. The underwater carrier Synfaxi, a lethal enemy threat, was engaged and destroyed by the superior firepower of the Arkbird. Having lost the support of the Synfaxi, the remaining Yuktabanian forces retreated. Furthermore, we are requesting reinforcements from Central Command to replace our squadron members lost in combat. Since we thwarted their invasion, we haven't seen any major offensive operation by the enemy for several weeks. Almost like we're at peace again, eh, people? Anyway, let's start the briefing. Yuktobanian combat operations have been dormant since their failed large-scale invasion and the loss of their underwater carrier, Synfaxi. However, there is still concern over a possible infiltration by small-scale forces from the ground and the air. You will split into flights of two and carry out patrols in the area from Akerson Hill to the northern coastline. The airspace above the grain fields extending around Akerson is covered by our Ocean AA system. The system automatically fires missiles at any hostile aircraft it detects. Patrol the northern coastline of Akerson Hill, which is out of our AA system's range. Please choose my plane. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? War Dog, launch! That stupid geezer base commander just won't give us a break, will he? He's relying on us, First Lieutenant Chopper. Hey, congratulations on your promotion, by the way. <laughs> That's weird. I don't feel any better. Hey, you two. What's your current position? 300 miles south of you. Roger. Damaged, but the damage is light. Transmitting aircraft. State your assignment and current status. Finally, a response. This is the Ocean Air Force transport plane Mother Goose 1. We're flying to the neutral country of North We have the transmitter set to minimum power. Please come in closer so we can hear. Ah, I think this is you on our radar. Can you see us? We'd like you to guide us to a safe passage corridor through the AA defenses. We're on a 
top secret mission and are not transmitting a valid friendly ID signal to the ground-based automatic defense systems. As a result, a friendly surface-to-air missile was mistakenly fired at us. We narrowly avoided a direct hit, but our radar system was destroyed, and we can't fly a safe path through the AA system. Guide the transport plane through the AA system's radar coverage and take it to Akerson Hill. The transport is on a top-secret mission, so its ID signal has not been registered in the AA system's database. As a result, if the transport is picked up by the AA system, it may be shot down by our own missile fire. The engagement zone of this ground-based AA system is displayed on your radar. Due to combat damage, the transport's radar system is inoperable and its maneuverability restricted. Guide the plane so it stays out of the AA system's engagement zone. Uh, the Air Defense Command just received multiple radar hits on an enemy formation closing on your position. First bad guys we've seen crossing the pond for a while. Warning alarms are going off like mad, but we're the only ones near enough to intercept them in time. Hold on, baby, we're coming to your rescue. Understood. I'm counting on you two. Blaze, can you see the transport craft? Roger. Keep your eyes on it. Okay, I've got him on my radar. Just like the intelligence said. The radio's picking up the enemy's voice. These guys sound as beautiful as Thunderhead. Sweet as a rose, I tell ya. Don't let up just because it's a transport plane. If we take out this guy, they won't just give us a medal. They'll build a statue in our honor. This cargo's certainly worth that much. Is that the enemy speaking? What are these guys talking about? Don't worry about that. We need your escort. We're completely defenseless. Well now, this is turning out to be a weird little race against the enemy. Mother Goose One, any problems on your end? No problems, but we'd like to get out of this airspace ASAP. Please fly a course that avoids the AA system. Mother Goose One, push to radio frequency 136 megahertz. Roger, switching. My plane's damaged, so I can't put undue stress on the airframe. As much as you can, try to fly in a straight line for me. Ocean Air Force fighter pilot, can you see us? Roger, please show us the way. The skies over our own country could be so unfriendly.
I'll take the controls. You check the instruments for me. Look forward and take a deep breath. Stay calm. It's okay. It was just a sensor malfunction. We'll be out of the AA defense system's coverage shortly. One, we've successfully navigated through the AA system. Thank you. However, I'd like to ask for your continued escort. Enemy spotted on radar. Coming head on. Chopper team has arrived. Hey kid, we're under your command now. Mother Goose One, we'll take care of him. Please separate at maximum speed. Please, I'm counting on you. Roger, concentrate and fire towards your front. Additional enemy targets on radar. Mother Goose One, please keep your current vector. Roger. Roger. D ah, damn it! Your speed's decreasing. What's the matter? Mechanical trouble. I'm losing thrust on Engine One. Hey! I see escort fighters! I thought there weren't gonna be any escorts. Chopper, Grim, cover me. Okay, I'm protecting this transport plane no matter what. Chopper engaging. Archer, engaging. They're like hyenas, going after a helpless transport plane. You ever heard of honor guys? Fox 2. for support. Don't let them get away from us. All right, that's the way to do it. Hang in there. The fire's under control. Automatic extinguisher system activated. Zadik 3, break! Missile, missile! Captain, there's a problem with the hydraulics. Watch out for mid-air collisions. Target hit! Nice kill, kid! Missile hit! Leave the enemy to them. Keep your current vector. Fox 2, Fox 2. Quit gawking outside. Check your power setting. Yes, watch it. Check your power setting. They just won't stop. The oil pressure gauge is dropping further. I'll take a look. You take the controls. Hit confirmed! The captain shot down an enemy plane. Get the passengers in their seats. Seat belts on. landing. Put your flaps down. That'll lower your airspeed. 
Can you find your flap lever? Flap lever, it, is that it? No, that one, Tom. Pull that one. We can't go on! Let's pull out. An emergency landing? The ground's full of electric generator windmills! Could you shoot those down for us? Let's do it. What? We've got no other choice. Okay, let's do it. Are you still there, ma'am? With a lovely voice? Uh, miss... First Lieutenant K. Nagase. Sir. Ah, uh, and a lovely name as well. And I'm Chopper! That's a good name, too. I like you, man. Tommy's going to try landing now. He's doing his best, but he's never done this before. I, I don't know if we'll make it, so I just want to thank you before we go. You'll be okay. Yes, you'll do fine. Tommy, those broken windows will be our guideposts. This is going to be difficult. I have to aim carefully. They're going to be in for a pretty hard landing. These windmills are huge, but they're still a hard target from up here. Hurry up! I don't think the transport plane's gonna wait for us. Hey kid! Don't give yourself a headache aiming at every single one! Almost there. You're doing great, Doc. Those pilots ought to recruit you. Altitude 100 feet. Almost there, I think. Mother Goose 1, just keep going. That's a pretty good runway there. A fine place for a landing. This is Archer. Surrounding airspace is clear of enemy aircraft. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Transport plane is ready for an emergency landing. Mother Goose 1, landing confirmed. Are you alright, Mr. Cargo? Uh, yeah, I guess. That was a pretty smooth ride, actually. Mr. Cargo? I've got a question I'd like to ask you. What is it? The bird of peace. Did you really have to use that beautiful white bird for this war? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I wanted to see your... your bridge of peace span into outer space. It's still possible. Thanks to the bird, we're on even terms now. I'm trying to get to North Point, because I believe we have a chance. To hold talks in neutral territory. Right. Communication is vital. So I can still believe in you then. I don't want to see any more young men or women lose their lives. Me neither. Uh-oh. I'm out of fuel. This is the Ocean Air Force 8492nd Squadron. We observed the emergency landing on our radar. Can you see us? You can leave the rest to us. We'll provide support until the transport plane's crew is rescued. Roger, 84 92nd. Take care of them for us. Sure thing. We've received a sit rep from Central Command. The crew on board the transport plane you encountered during your patrol has been rescued by the 8492nd Squadron. That is currently all the information we have. After my article, The Four Wings of Sand Island, was published to wide acclaim, I grew bolder. Here was a profile view of the base commander, the emperor of this base. Don't. He's in a bad mood today. If he catches you, he'll have your head. What happened? The Arkbird. 
Huh? The white bird in outer space, with Yuktabania outclassing us in firepower. It was the President's one trump card in the peace negotiations. And now, it's fallen right out of our hands. So you're saying we don't know how long the war will drag on? The Arkbird. A superweapon capable of attacking from space, far beyond the reach of the enemy. Its power generator was destroyed by explosives planted inside a supply shipment launched from Earth. Once again, the balance of power had tipped toward Yuktabania. Our army is finally ready to conduct a large-scale counterattack against Yuktabania. If we succeed, we'll never have to face the humiliation of those Yukes trampling on our homeland again. The goal of this operation is simple. To invade and occupy the Yuktabanian mainland. We're going to conduct a large-scale amphibious assault against Yuktabania on the Bostok Peninsula. This mission will be called Operation Footprint. The landing force will be selected from the 1st and 2nd Ocean Army Battalions. They will be divided into four companies, A, B, C, and D, and transported to the area via landing craft. Upon landing, each division will fan out and destroy the enemy bases scattered throughout the area, then rendezvous and reform into a single large force unit to assault the final target, the fortress. The Yuktabanian defense positions along the coast are tightly dug in, and we have concluded that air attacks alone will not be enough to destroy them. Therefore, Operation Footprint will be a synchronized air and ground attack to neutralize these positions. It is critical that you follow the specific targeting instructions of the ground commander to maximize the effects of your attacks. We are expecting poor weather conditions and fierce resistance from the Yuktabanian defense forces. The fortress is protected by pillboxes and a defensive wall. Provide close air support for the ground forces and get as many soldiers as possible inside. I wish you the best of luck in battle. Captain, please choose my plane. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? Are we launching in this formation? War Dog, launch! Blaze, you are cleared for takeoff. Altitude restrictions canceled. Return to your mission. Good luck. Terry, got something I need to tell you. The enemy's right in front of us, Scott. Save it for later. Yeah, I guess you're right. Later, then. The four companies will now land at their designated beachheads. Commence close air support. This is Company D. We're almost at the beach. Go! Move forward! We're almost there! That's it! Row! Keep rowing! To hell with this war. Move! Move! Land already! Hit that beach and start running! There's no time to kiss the ground! This is Company A. Landing successful. Deploy the armored vehicles now! Enemy facility destroyed! Everybody out! 
Take cover in the sand! Hide anywhere you can! Go! Go! You too, Lord! Can we retreat? Maintain your weapons and feet on our homeland! This is Company B. Our attack's getting held up by fierce fire from the bunkers. Halt the enemy fire with an airstrike. We'll charge in at the same time. Hurry to the designated area and provide close air support. Activate your radar map to check location. Landing confirmed. Continue your support. Fly top cover for the armored vehicles. Is the attack target confirmed, kid? swept away so we can advance. Roger. The trick will be to match our timing with the ground forces. The terrain's a little different from the area's photos. Better adjust our strategy. Don't underestimate those enemy pilots! I think we've already disabled that pillbox. This is Keep moving. Safe. We've got our hands full with resistance from enemy bunkers. So the enemy's finally made it to our main airstrike. We'll give them a piece of our mind while they're busy with your fire. Enemy facility destroyed. Bunkers opening fire again! Retreat! Retreat! We're requesting close air support against the remaining bunkers! Drive back the Oceans! Fourth Squad, what's your status? Those Uke bastards are blocking our course! Blaze, air attacks can only silence the bunkers temporarily. Six bunkers remaining. Don't shoot yet, they'll spot us. This operation is pointless. These guys are just gonna storm in head on following orders. That's how war is fought. That's why I hate it. How could the president authorize an escalation of the war like this? This is insane. We'll get bogged down in this forever. Hey, that Mr. Cargo guy was the president, right? I thought I could believe in him back then. I had no idea he was such a wuss. No, he's not. Damn, it's like they're plowing the ground with bullets. Don't get hit, Terry. I still got something I gotta tell you. I know, I know, Mr. Boy. You hang in there, too. Four bunkers remaining. Attention, overhead aircraft. This is the ground forces. Make sure you don't drop any bombs on us. Roger, we trust you. Paul, how's the mission's progress? They found us. Fire before they do. Fox 1! Fox 1! We'll hold them off here! Whatever you do, don't shoot them down to over our forces! Signal fire from the other side of the peninsula! What's happening? Pinned down by crossfire! We can't advance! Have them attack the flight. Differential. Visibility zero. Tank destroyed. Enemy advance contained. Requesting immediate close air support. Take out that large bunker from the air. The enemies entered the block in front of us. They got us again. They're attacking from the air like the last time. Attacker shot down. Where's our orders? Get the captain. I don't see anyone behind us on the 
Allied planes, we're moving into position to attack the last bunker. We're requesting close air support against the remaining bunkers. Let's finish this! Fox 2! Target hit! I'm not so sure anymore if I'm gonna live through this. The captain's come all the way to the front! The captain? Here? He'll get killed! I'm glad he's come to join us in hell! Bunkers opening fire again! Retreat! Retreat! We'll go out first. Time for the usual. Yeah! The usual! Ground target! Confirm destroyed! Stand by! Don't move until you receive orders! Damn it! The other companies are getting ahead of us! Company B reports yeah, capture of enemy territory! This hasn't even started! Bastards! Okay, you wanna play like that, huh? After intense fighting, the landing force captured and secured the fortress target. Thanks to the success of Operation Footprint, we have secured the southeastern coast of Yuktabania. We've decided to make the fortress our first forward base on Yuktabania as we expand our combat operations inside the country. After we complete construction of our defensive positions, our ground forces will continue their advance to the final target, the capital city of Sinigrad. The Yuktobanian force that defended the Bostok Peninsula is staging a large-scale withdrawal from the area. After analyzing the situation, we have determined that they are pulling back the force to regroup their defense network and strengthen their capital defenses. Yuktobania's southern armies sustained heavy damage during our landing operation, and their defensive war power has weakened considerably. Their withdrawal is currently proceeding under the curtain of a set of electronic jamming signals. The enemy's air forces consist primarily of transport planes. Pursue these planes, destroy them, and halt their retreat. my plane. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? Are we launching in this formation? Wardog, launch! Archer, engaging! Edge, engaging. 
Blaze, engage. Whoops. Chopper, engaging. Due to current circumstances, we have been forced to set foot on Euctimania with weapons. However, our true enemy here is the Euctimanian military who started this unjust war. Transport squadron undetected. No problems yet. Roger. Maintain current heading. No stragglers. Don't leave anybody behind. Unbelievable! We gotta bag all these planes? You think every enemy plane in the area is up and flying? Well, let's ask them. Hey, how many planes you got there? Man, this is making me cry. Report from the yellowing. Picking up something on radar. There's way too many signatures on radar. Kid, Nagase, how about you guys? My radar is showing strange results as well. Something's going on. Hey, uh, you don't think... Does the enemy have a tally on us yet? Aha! I think I figured it out. Well, do share your keen insights, will you please? What's up? First Lieutenant Chopper! Jammer aircraft! So, it's... a trick? Who could this be? Our new jamming devices are supposed to be perfect! Okay, I feel better now. Ghosts aren't so bad once you figure out the trick behind them. Where are the jammers? They've got to be somewhere close. Let's take care of them first. Don't let the jamming confuse you. Repeat, don't let the enemy's jamming confuse you. Concentrate on shooting down the enemy jammer aircraft. The transport can wait. Squadron. Split and engage. 
engage the enemy fighters. Molnia Squadron, stay close and continue your escort mission. Don't worry, it's just one more thing we have to take care of, is all. Nice kill! They're all retreating together like one big happy family. Damn, this is the biggest withdrawal in history. This is our sky. Don't let them barge in here. down below us. Even if you eject, you won't survive. Radar lock! We let them get this far inland? The captain shot one down. We can't hold them up for long. Don't panic. We're still okay. Fox 2! Warning. The enemy's tracking you on radar. Fox 2! Fox 2! Fox 2! Bandits in gun range! Missile hit! Get out of there! What are you doing? We're gonna burn up the engines. This is as fast as it gets. Locked on! Blaze, Fox 2! Missile hit! Archer, box two! Missile hit! The captain's missile was defeated by maneuvering. Last plane confirmed, shot down. All enemy transports and jammers in the local airspace have been eliminated. We have succeeded in halting the Yuktabanian army's airborne withdrawal from the Bostok Peninsula. However, a Yuktabanian civilian complex and engineering university has been attacked. This attack occurred in an area within operating range of the Sand Island Squadron. Sand Island air crews will report to Central Command Headquarters in the Ocean capital city of Aured immediately. General Howell. Supreme Commander of the Ocean Armies deployed to Yuktabania, successfully stormed the enemy beach and established a command center on the spot. The general, who claims to have been given full operational authority by the president, then made the following declaration. We will march forward and we will not lay down our arms until the Yuktabanian capital has fallen. Aured, the Ocean capital. The winds of war have yet to reach here. The air still smells of peace. But that wasn't us. By the time we got there, they had already... That's right. We heard them over the radio. They called themselves the 8492nd Squadron. 8492! 8492! Is that all you people have to say? There is no squadron in our military with that number. Damn it! What the hell's going on here? We've got an emergency here. Our armies are bogged down with the Yuktobania invasion, so we're short on operational aircraft. Unfortunately, as a result, we're going to have to request that you flying aces take off for us. So, which mission would you like to take on? That's right, the capital's got more than one attack to deal with right now. How about we use this to decide? A group believed to be a Yuktabanian commando force has carried out a terrorist attack with chemical weapons. The site of the attack is the college town of Bana, located to the south of Aurid. Plumes of nerve gas are currently billowing out from several locations around the city. We must neutralize the gas from the air as quickly as possible. Capital District Air Command will provide specialized aircraft equipped to deploy canisters containing a neutralizing agent. Drop the neutralizing agent from the air over the smoke from the gas plumes. Keep the gas from spreading further around the city. I 
can't believe we put the coin for this mission. This isn't funny, man. Okay, once you've reached the airspace over the city, drop the neutralizer bombs. Make good use of them. Roger! Gee, thanks for the step-by-step -step instruction there. First Lieutenant Davenport? We've heard from the front lines that you like to shoot your mouth off on the radio. Uh, Davenport is too busy carrying out his mission to answer you at this time, sir. Blaze, switch to special weapons. Make your shots count, okay? Roger. Our radar won't help us to target the gas. We'll have to rely on our eyes. Charlie 11, isn't today your daughter's birthday? Well, I couldn't just sit and do nothing. Let's take care of this so I can go home, okay? I don't know our release point. Where is it? An unidentified gas has just been detected in districts near the west and east banks of Bana City. Only a great hatred could drive them to do something like this. Blaze, what lies at the root of this attack is hatred itself. This doesn't look good. Shall we split up and do this separately? Roger. I'll maintain my present position. Unfortunately, we can't get any closer to the ground due to the danger posed by the gas. We can see people on rooftops calling for help, but there's nothing we can do from up here. Incredible. This is almost like watching a movie. As you can see, the gas is drifting up from various locations all over the city. This shocking footage is being broadcast exclusively here on this news station. Even from here, we can clearly see the stream of people evacuating the area. The bustling energy that used to fill these city streets has been replaced by confusion and fear. I hope the seal on my canopy's all right. Did anyone see the chemical weapon test results on this thing? There it goes. All right, let me see how it looks down there. This is patrol car Charlie 11. The gas over the East Bank has subsided. Our thanks go out to the Air Force. This is Baker 7. The West Bank's free of gas, too. Way to go, pilots. City Police HQ, 10-4. All other districts clear. City is completely clear of gas. We really appreciate the Air Force for doing this. Mission failed. The gas has been completely neutralized. Our teams is a dive team. We're sending in a helicopter for support. Sorry you have to do this. Uh, hold it. Stand by. The terrorists are escaping with the chemical weapons in a truck. All units close on that area. 10-4! Suspect proceeding south on Route 22. Hey, let's go watch! This is Baker 7, now on Route 22. Sorry to trouble you, but our patrolmen aren't exactly trained to fight in wars. Do you think you could help them out from the air? This is Capital District Air Command. Is that really necessary? Well, if you could dispatch some MPs to the scene, that would be fine too. This is Baker 7. We've spotted the truck. under attack from enemy commandos. You're kidding! Yeah, we've got our hands full here, too. War Dog Squadron, you are ordered to assist the local authorities. We appreciate your help. Did you hear that? They said the airport was attacked at the same time. Charlie 11 here. We found the truck, but they launched a grenade at us. No injuries, just hit a mailbox on the curb. They got away in the confusion. Roger. Pilot, see if you can find the terrorist truck from up there. Don't let them escape. Roger that. We'll take care of it. Hold on. I don't need you fighters to fire on them or anything. Not even just a little? No! Come on, guys. Really. Did you hear that, Captain? They say we can't shoot them. I know. I was just kidding. We've got a lightning bolt. 
Charlie 11, I don't see your car in the navigator display. What's going on? I'm in the parking garage under Dollum Street. I think I can cut him off. Jeez, man, calm down. Do you realize where you're driving? This just in, at the Apito International Airport, an armed group believed to be Yuktobanians began... Charlie 11, you're off the main road. Where are you going? This is Charlie 11. I'm taking a shortcut through Hostile Park. What? Hey, is not that against the law? We are hearing large explosions and gunfire from Apito International Airport at this very moment. According to military sources, this attack is very likely the work of Yuktobanian terrorists. the truck! Damn it! They're shooting at us! Charlie 11, fall back! Wait for backup! Don't worry, Baker 7. I'll pump enough lead into the truck to stop them. KRT, can we rendezvous at Apito International Airport? That'll be tough. The airport's surrounded by the enemy. Hold on, we're coming for you. surrounding the area, but that's a military helicopter. We don't have anything that can go up against it. Fighters, shoot down the helicopter for us. That's what I've been waiting for! Let's go! Target acquired. Hey, isn't that a Yuktobanian attack helicopter? Report to command. Yuktobanian helicopters have entered our airspace. Repeat, Yuktopters have breached our airspace. Be careful, they're fully loaded with missiles. Six helicopters left. Man, fighter jets are really cool. You think that'd make a good present? Uh, Charlie 11, I don't think your daughter would appreciate it too much. Look, it's a military helicopter! That's not an Ocean aircraft! Five helicopters left. The Sedayev team is completely surrounded. The enemy planes have spotted us. Fly lower. Kadar to Sadaev. We're changing the plan retrieval time. I'll try approaching from their blind spot. Four helicopters left. It's really ticking me off just sitting here doing nothing. Those helicopters are pretty good in air-to-air -air combat. It's pretty nimble, so be careful. We can't let those men get away. The target is using the buildings to shield themselves. Three more helicopters. Baker 7, I'm gonna attack them myself. Hey, Charlie 11, what's that thing you got in the back seat? That's my anti-tank rifle. I brought it with me from home. Two more helicopters. Let the Air Force deal with the copter. Hurry up! We're pinned down! I'll keep them from picking up the suspects. They're firing evasive maneuvers! Just one more helicopter. I guess the rules of engagement are a thing of the past. This breaks every rule in the book. This is Edge. All targets confirmed destroyed. This is Baker 7. The enemy truck has surrendered. Ha! <laughs> Serves you right. How's it feel now, huh? Roar Dog, mission complete. Return to base immediately. Sheesh! 
Charlie, 11, we need a code 3 response to find a dad missing from his daughter's birthday party. Ten four. Proceeding to the scene immediately. Thanks to your efforts in spreading the neutralizing agent, we managed to contain the damage from the nerve gas attack. Still, there have been at least 300 confirmed casualties reported so far. We have a related report on the force that tried to capture Apito International Airport at the exact moment the nerve gas attack began. The force made it into the facility, occupying it for a short period, but a lack of follow-on support enabled us to destroy them within 24 hours. The Yuktobanian army is threatening the security of our very capital. We've got to defeat them at all costs. We'll be sending you back to the front lines of the Yuktobania mainland. If you all really are innocent, then I hope you can prove it out there on the battlefield. I will now brief the details of your mission orders. That's all I have to say to you right now, people. If you all really are innocent, then I suggest you prove it out there on the battlefield. We have confirmed the existence of a Yuktobanian munitions factory in the arid region of Sansa. According to our information, they have already produced a new shipment of arms that are about to be airlifted to the front by a squadron of enemy transport aircraft. Carry out an attack on the facility and keep these transports from making their delivery. Unfortunately, this factory is well protected by a solid radar network. The network consists of a group of interlinked radar sites. If even one radar site goes offline, the system is designed to immediately report the problem to the factory. However, according to our analysis, if all four radar sites can be destroyed simultaneously, then we'll be able to delay the warning of our attack. Thanks to jamming from our electronic warfare planes, we've just managed to open up an attack corridor to the radar sites. Your squadron will split up and fly four routes. Infiltrate the area, synchronize your attacks, and destroy all four radar sites at the same time. In, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? War Dog, launch! Jeez, now they got us turning right back into another battle! And this scenery definitely clashes with my rock and roll! I'm just glad they're not ordering us to attack a city in retaliation for their retaliation. Yeah, you can say that again. Thank goodness there's nobody around here that we have to attack. This is Thunderhead. Cut the chatter. <laughs> and yet this guy's always here. Oh, he'll quiet down soon. It wouldn't be a surprise attack if he came along with us. I repeat, cut the chatter. Synchronize your watches before arrival. Five seconds to 1130 hours. Mark. I'll begin the countdown for attack in just a moment. We have to destroy the radar right when the count reaches zero. Watch your timing. Man, my internal clock's already messed up and now this? I'm spending more time in the air than on the ground. Ken, we destroy it together on 3210, right? Roger, sorry.
30 seconds to countdown. And mark. Sorry, let me make sure one more time. We need to match up the timing of the destruction, not our firing, right? I thought so. Sorry, I'm good now. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, now! Synchronized attack was successful. All right. See? Nothing to it. Let's go for the next one. Next radar cluster approaching. Thirty seconds to countdown. And mark. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now! We did it! Our timing was perfect! The interval between radar clusters is getting shorter and shorter. I'll begin the countdown for attack in just a moment. And mark. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now! Looks like we did it! Ha! I'll begin the countdown for attack in just a moment. And mark. Hold it! Hold it! I got radar trouble! Halt the attack! Roger. Cancel the attack! Let's try it one more time! Okay, the stupid thing works now. All it needed was a nice kick. Resetting the count. Another countdown to start. Now, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, now! Radar network penetrated. Proceed to attack the weapons plant. Are those planes ours? No IFF response. Can't be. Fox 2! 
This factory is huge! Wow! Well, did we surprise you guys? Why didn't we have more AA guns? Hit confirmed! I always thought the Ukes had more weapons than what the report said. This is why. This is what tactical bombing is all about, right here. Where should I attack first for maximum effect? We can't let them stop this production line. Do whatever it takes to protect this place! Damn it, we were so close! Approaching gun range. Splash one fighter! The Yuktabanian munitions factory was destroyed, and the weapons inside the transport planes were eliminated. With this operation, we have succeeded in dealing a severe blow to the enemy's weapons production effort. Yuktabania's weapons development capability will now be lagging considerably behind Osea.
Despite the hectic mood among the staff at HQ, the start of the briefing was delayed. But the weary pilots, knowing full well that they must force their exhausted bodies back into the air once the order was given, weren't the slightest bit disturbed by the delay. Hey, what are you writing there? I just can't remember this next phrase. Here, let me see. Hey! The princess couldn't feed the dove that day. She was too sick. May I take a look? Rosgrees. The demon of Rosgrees got her, right? You know the story? The demon from the North Sea. I remember. My grandma used to tell me bedtime stories about it. And every time she did, I'd be too scared to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Ugh. Settle down, people. I know a little about that famous legend, too. When history witnesses a great change, Raz Grease reveals itself, first as a dark demon. As a demon, it uses its power to rain death upon the land, and then it dies. However, after a period of slumber, Raz Grease returns. Gentlemen! Excuse me, Colonel. This is an absolutely vital mission to us. As the staff advisor sent from Central HQ for this effort, I'd like to explain it myself. The Ocean Army is planning a vast offensive with the ultimate objective of occupying the capital of Yuktabania. If this operation succeeds, it will end the war in very short order. However, the Yuktabanians have attacked our beachhead with ballistic missiles from the Rimfaxi, a Synfaxi-class submersible carrier stationed in the icy waters of Razgriz Straits. Fortunately, our ground forces have already completed attack preparations, so despite the missile attack, the offensive began as planned. Nevertheless, we must neutralize the threat of another Rimfaxi missile attack on our ground forces. We have a single chance to stage a successful air attack on the underwater carrier Rimfaxi. Our passive sonar has detected a transport submarine that we believe is headed for the Rimfaxi. We believe the transport sub's mission is to supply the Rimfaxi with missiles. Based on its course and speed, we've calculated its rendezvous time with the Rimfaxi. By amazing coincidence, it is precisely the same time as the zero hour of our ground attack. At this time, the Rimfaxi will have to surface to restock its missiles. At that exact moment, ingress at low altitude to avoid detection, launch a surprise attack, and sink the Rimfaxi. Once surfaced, it only takes the Rimfaxi one minute to rig for an emergency dive. If your approach is detected, you will only have one minute to complete your attack on the Rimfaxi. Now keep in mind, there won't be any support from Arkbird this time around. This mission rests solely on your shoulders. The entire ground offensive is relying on this first surprise attack, so don't disappoint us. I want you to turn the icy Rosgree Straits into the enemy's graveyard. Captain, please choose my... Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? So, we're going up in this formation? War Dog, launch! Pilots, check your plane and prepare for refueling. One mile to refueling craft. One hundred yards to go. Perfect, Blaze. Commencing refueling. Stay at low altitude and fly towards the submarine fleet. 
You are restricted from flying above 1,000 feet. We can't risk having our surprise attack detected. I'm getting chills. This northern sea is where the demon of Rosgreaves came from. Rosgreaves? Huh. There's no way that could have been the Rosgreaves. Hold your chatter. Commencing calm out procedures shortly. Maintain radio silence. Guess I'll cut off the mic and try talking to myself. This is Mitchell. Your cover's blown. The Rim Faxi will dive in one minute. You must act fast. Enemy planes, halt all resupply operations. Enemy planes? We're still in the middle of our mission! Damn it! How did they smell us out? Too. 
the Ukes lose that mon- Ten seconds to impact! Five, four, three, two, bursting, now! You know? From Faxi, it appears you're up against Rosgreys itself out there. Looks like they were the real Rosgreys, not us. Maybe someone's trying to tell us that our time is up. The surprise attack on the Rimfaxi was a success, and the carrier has sunk to the bottom of the Rosgreed Straits. The threat from the Northern Sea has disappeared, and the Ocean forces are on the offensive against Yuktobania. Me? Heavens. The ace pilots who sunk the enemy submarines are right over there. And I'm the person you want to interview now? No, it's not that. It's just that I heard you used to be a fighter pilot yourself. I just fly freight planes for the maintenance crews now. The captain, Captain Bartlett that is, it was time for an old man like me to quit trying to compete with the young guys. Talk about a lack of respect. <laughs> Where did you meet Captain Bartlett? We were both shot down and we bailed out behind enemy lines in the last war. We got through the bullet-ridden battlefield and made it back to the Allied front line. I tell you, it was tough getting the army to believe we were on their side. Shot down? You two? Hey, it was a long time ago. Everyone makes mistakes, right? Oh, no, I didn't mean it that way. Even if you're not flying with those pilots, your agent experience provide a lot of support for all of them. I just wanted to tell you that. I've seen that you really listen to what they say, and you always have helpful suggestions for them. Well, thank you. I think they're all going to need you, now more than ever. I'll do what I can. These people, it's like they're walking on a tightrope that could snap at any second. They're going to reach their breaking point sooner or later. Yeah. Our ground offensive is continuing its fast-paced push into Yuktobanian soil. 
A POW internment camp was discovered during the offensive, and a team of Marines has attacked and captured the camp. The Marines have secured the camp's radio room, and a flight of helicopters is en route to retrieve the prisoners. Your mission is to provide close air support for this rescue and retrieval operation. The radio room could be retaken by the enemy at any moment. If it is, the enemy will report the attack and the rescue will end in failure. Find and shoot down all enemy aircraft in the local airspace and secure air superiority across the entire area. Captain, please choose my plane. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? So, we're going up in this formation? War Dog, launch! This is Archer. Captain, can you see the POW camp? You think the Captain? Uh, I mean... Captain Bartlett, you think he's in there? I bet he is. He's probably busy cussing out all the other POWs and taking charge right now. Right, Nagase? <sighs> You're not still blaming yourself, are you? No. Fighters, I can hear the roar of your engines approaching. Uh, this is Sea Goblin. Man. I thought if I joined the Marines, I'd get to work on tropical beaches all the time. We've safely recovered the POWs. Guess our copter's not here yet. You're gonna have to babysit them a little bit longer. I'm picking up enemy planes on my radar. Roger. You're that squadron from Sand Island, right? I've heard of you guys. Can't wait to see you do your stuff. These enemy air patrols are really cramping our style. You can't detect them unless you get close. Yeah, we gotta find and shoot them all down, or else the helicopter won't be able to get close. We gotta move fast, too, because the camp isn't gonna be secure for long. It's pretty useless to patrol the skies in this weather. Donna, where's your report? Hey, are you napping again? This is Toby. We're monitoring the camp from the radio room. Everything's quiet so far. This is Sea Goblin. Does it seem like the enemy craft have noticed our infiltration? You heard our captain. Relax and just wait there at the camp. Roger. We've cut off the enemy's lines of communication here, but it's just unsettling not being able to tell what the situation is. You know, I can't shake the feeling that we're being watched. Hey, did you see a figure behind that window over there? That's weird. Zudak still hasn't come back from the bathroom. Blaze's missile hit the target. You don't think they found us out and surrounded us already, do you? I heard some you bastards talking to each other, I swear! We can figure out the number of remaining enemy planes from our pre-flight data. Let's see. There are five planes left. Hurry up with the retrieval. The Ukes aren't that stupid. I'm not getting any response from the guards in the control room area. What's going on here? The guys we sent to check on them aren't back either. No contact from the control room. They must be slacking off again. It's too far from here. Get someone nearby to check it out. There are four planes left. Oh no, the enemy spotted us. They're heading for the radio room. They found us. A little earlier than we thought, too. Kill the guys on watch to come back! This is Sea 
Goblin. Combat is broken out in the camp. You've got control of the airspace now, right? I knew we could count on you. Okay, we're going to get everyone out of here. Two enemy planes left. One enemy plane left. Are the POWs we hit in the machine room all right? We can't hold out here for long. Barricade the door with those desks. Don't let them enter the radio room. I've mopped up the enemies in the area. You can call in the taxi now. Roger. We're all set. Bring the helicopter into our position. Uh, this is Sea Goblin. Our ride's here. The ground's still crawling with weapons installations, though, so they can't land. Could you clear them out for us? This is the gunship. We're gonna sweep the south end of Building B with Gatling fire. Target destroyed! Give me the next firing point! I see the POW camp. The man I must... The people we must help are in there. We have to suppress the anti-aircraft fire first. If we can just get through this... Rescue operation almost complete. We can't let up now, though. I'll be ready. Let's get this over with before nightfall. We're screwed if they blow up our helicopter. Don't get us confused with the enemy. We're gonna fire back. Archer, box two. Sam, destroy. I'll destroy the anti-aircraft positions and support the POW escape. The weather's getting even worse! Target hit! I've got a special delivery of bullets here. Where do you want me to drop them off? Got it! Don't you go anywhere! I'll support the rescue effort! Get those POWs out of there, fast! are always replaceable. 
Sea Goblin to gunship. We're taking our guests home now. Can you guys rescue her? Roger. Weather conditions are getting worse. We'd better step on it. Landing point confirmed. Roger. Heading in to pick her up. The gunship crashed! Damn it! The storm's too strong! We can't just leave her behind! Look, I hate it too, but we have to wait for conditions to get better before we can do anything! Damn it! Is there nothing we can do?! Damn it! You said it! The POW rescue operation was a success, and both the Marines and our friends held in the camp were safely recovered. As for Captain K. Nagase, who was attacked and bailed out during the operation, Colonel Perot will issue orders on her behalf. Central Command will be replacing Captain Nagase's plane that was lost in the crash. None of the rescued POWs saw Bartlett in the internment camp. Now where could he be, I wonder? Upon more favorable weather conditions, we will carry out a rescue operation for Captain Nagase. That's right. You've all been promoted yet again. You guys are burning through the ranks, you know that? You can thank High Command for it. She'd left her book in the crew room. A Blue Dove for the Princess. That was the title of the book she left behind. A favorite book from her childhood. The pages have torn off over the years, and she had been writing down the words that were on those pages, trying to remember every sentence and every verse. I love this book so much, but I only have faint memories of what was inside. I feel like I've grown so far away from everything since then. I remember how she looked when she told me that. I couldn't help wondering, did she choose to crash on purpose? rather than having to take part in the invasion of another country. Bring back Captain Nagase. Don't make us have to give her a posthumous two-rank promotion. We've succeeded in tracking down Captain K. Nagase's distress beacon. We will now launch a combat search and rescue operation for the captain. Captain Nagase is currently on the run from an enemy patrol. Although she's being pursued, her distress beacon is still broadcasting. This transmission is extremely weak, so we cannot confirm her location unless we get closer to the source of the signal. Follow the signal to find Captain Nagase's concealed location as quickly as possible. Once you find her, report her location to the Sea Goblin Helicopter Squadron. The helicopter search and rescue team is expected to face stiff opposition from enemy air and ground forces. After the helicopter team picks up Captain Nagase, provide air support for them as they airlift her out. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? So, we're going up in this formation? War Dog, launch! This emergency locator beacon is our connection to Nagase. Let's hurry up and find her. Hang in there, Nagase! Pay attention to the changes in the signal's pitch and tempo. Right. 
I'll try to get a bearing that has a better response. Kid, do you understand how to view the distress signal sensor on your HUD? Okay, just checking. Make sure you don't miss Nagase's signal. I'm okay. I can keep going. Hey, Blaze! Did you see someone below us just now? I thought I saw someone moving. Maybe it was just my imagination. The captain shot down the enemy! Nagase's got nothing but a handgun on her. We haven't seen the pilot from above either. Nothing on the infrared. We can't see anything in this forest. Search, okay? Roger. So you think we should look around here, huh? Okay. I'll trust your intuition. We've secured one down plane with the ejection seat missing. Target hit! I'm climbing up a hill right now. Try to observe enemy movements. I found footprints this way. We don't have any time! The enemy's right there! They lead towards the woods. We're gonna follow them. Sea Goblin to War Dog Leader. I'm honing in on your signal. The signal's changing. Looks like you're gradually getting closer to Captain Nagase. That's a jammer craft! It's being jammed! 11 o'clock! Something just moved in the forest! Do you think Captain Nagase will notice our engine noise? Yeah, let's use this sound to boost her morale. They better hurry, or else the enemy will get to him first. <sighs> Several dozen enemy soldiers. They're about 300 yards east of here. Nagase's in trouble! Cut him off up ahead! Don't let him escape! Fox 2! Is the enemy following? Can't be. I've been covering my tracks. The enemy's inside the forest, too. They're coming this way. Getting stronger. Nagase's around here somewhere. Platoons! I've discovered someone moving! I can hear voices. Enemy soldiers are in the area. 
heard that engine sound before. Blaze, is that you? Response up and increasing. She's right around here. Blaze. This is Sea Goblin. War Dog, have you found her? Roger. Good job. You have good eyes. We'll move in for the rescue. While we're on our way, eliminate those enemy fighters for us. We need to make sure this place is safe. Whoa! Whoa! There's still enemies on the ground! Don't worry. We'll take your princess back to base safely. You do that, and I'll worship you guys. Enemy fighters! They're coming this way! Target hit! Bastards! I'm not letting you near that copter! Hurry up, guys! What are you gonna do if the enemy catches her? Calm down. We're going as fast as we can. Over here! I'm the one you want! I'll shoot down every single plane that comes near the helicopter! Chopper! Box 2! Nice kill! Don't take any chances. You'll get shot down yourselves. We'll just have to count on you if that happens. Yahoo! Can you see Nagase from the helicopter? Is she alright? Missile hit! Enemy plane shot down with the captain's help. Did you find Captain Nagase? This is Sea Goblin. We're moving to the scene as fast as we can. Let me know when you've confirmed Captain Nagase's position. This is Sea Goblin. The enemy's targeting us. Six miles. Hey, so this Captain Nagase. Is she a looker? Why don't you rescue her and see for yourself? If she's hot, I'm asking her out. Well then, you can find out how tough her guard is, too. Come on, just hurry up, will you? Please? Enemy force advancing. Can you take them out for us? Roger that. You take care of the rescue. Damn it! I think the enemy helicopter spotted the pilot. Four miles. We're gonna have to rely on you on the ground. Pull through for us, okay? Roger that. We owe you one from yesterday. Kobold! You deal with the pursuing units! I'll go save the princess! Nice kill! That's definitely her! I can see her flight suit from here! Is the rescue team back yet? Did they pick her up? Two miles! Chopper, firing! Hold on, I got your back! Fox 2! Missile hit! Target hit! Amazing as always, Captain! Sea Goblin arriving at designated point momentarily. Don't take them on by yourself. Climb and fight from above. These guys are too good. We can't win if we go head on. He's at your six o'clock. Break right. Shake him off. Hurry. Box two, box two. Target hit. Prepare to drop. Don't make her wait any longer. Everyone ready? Go! 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 Rescue team dropping from helicopter. I was really worried there for a while. You got a towel? I need to wipe all this sweat off my brow. <sighs> Say, Blaze, I think that song would be perfect for a time like this, you know? Really? Didn't you say the other day you liked that song, Back of the Coin? Our combat search and rescue of Captain Nagase was a success. We're having a physician check on her condition right now. When the rescue team found her, she was holding captive a group of soldiers who were sent in to capture her. Behind her was the helicopter crew that crashed while trying to rescue her. She had saved them, treated their wounds, and hid them in a safe place.
I needed to rethink my image of her after this, after seeing her amazing toughness and tenacity. She even managed to obtain a little information from the soldiers she captured. It seems the people of Yuktabania were also beginning to have doubts about their leaders in the current war. And word of Nagase's squadron was getting around, as the force that sunk two of their most powerful submarines. The Yuk army soldiers had nicknamed them the Demons of Razgriz. She was obviously very proud of that when she told me about it later. Perhaps her pride was for Captain Bartlett, the man who had trained them, or maybe it was for her current captain. However, nobody in the upper echelons of her own army was proud of them. Bartlett was still missing, and that made his old trainees the subject of suspicion and criticism. What? What do you mean it's our turn to choose? This is it, people. Our ground forces will engage in a decisive battle with the enemy's main force in the Jalachi Desert. It'll be an enormous battle. If our army wins this showdown of military might, we'll be just a hair away from total victory. You'll be responsible for neutralizing the enemy forces that are blocking our army's advance on the left flank of the front line. OCS relying on you, people. Don't let us down. This mission will be referred to as Operation Desert Blitz. Yuktabania has an airfield in the western region of the Jalachi Desert and an oil facility protected by defense positions in the southern part of the desert. These two locations are the target of this operation. The 2nd Tank Battalion will handle the airstrip, while the 3rd Tank Battalion will capture the oil facility. Your mission is to cover both of the ground forces as they advance. This operation will unfold across the southern region of the Jalachi Desert, but we expect fierce enemy resistance within the entire area. It's been reported that several enemy tank platoons have taken up positions around the airstrip, one of your mission targets. You'll be up against a large number of enemy forces, so choose your opponents carefully. Don't try to take on all of them. Destroying a certain number of enemy forces within your allotted time on station will be considered successful completion of the mission. Operation Desert Blitz commences today at 10.50 hours. Captain, please choose my plane. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? War Dog, launch! Man, this is ridiculous! I can't believe they chose our next mission with a damn coin again! This is Thunderhead. Captain Davenport, how many times do I have to tell you to cut the chatter? Thunderhead, this is Roz Grease 3. Roger that. What did you just say? Let me clarify again. Our mission is to capture the oil facility. We're requesting the Air Force to provide us with air support. All we need to do is move forward. This is Lynx 1. Attention Air Force, requesting close air support for our unit. Time for the parade. All tanks, begin your advance. Dachshund Air Force, requesting close air support on the way to our target. This is Dachshund 1. The enemy's greeting us with their own tanks. Requesting close air support. Let's up the ante. tell you about my brother? I look up to him a lot. He was part of the reason why I chose this job. Man, if only this desert was a beach. 
Man, the Air Force rocks. I wonder if I can file for a transfer. There they are. This is starting to get exciting. Bulldog, don't get your brain out there. Sam, confirmed destroyed. They're still brand new and untuned. We can't use them in real battle. So tune them while we're fighting. Shut up and hand them over. Man, it's hot. Doesn't the enemy mind this weather? It's so hot, I don't have enough spit left to swallow.
forces are waiting for our support. HQ! It's getting impossible to hold the line! I see it, Tentacle! How's that, huh? Did you see that? Man, this is an elaborate defensive line. These guys must have had a lot of time on their hands. Capture the facility before it's damaged. 
Ground forces have begun to penetrate the facility. Standing by in the air. Are the enemy forces still there? You I feel like I'm watching a war game. These Sand Island guys are impressive. Looks like the captain's retirement will have to wait a while longer. The enemy soldiers we captured all kept talking about how they were attacked by the Rosgrees demons. Apparently that Rosgrees refers to the four rings of Sand Island. Let's start with the enemies over there. Hey, you think the guys down below are looking up at me? have been spotted upstream of the river. There's a surface-to-surface -surface missile platoon and... You gotta be kidding me, they've got a battleship! Wipe them all out and stop their fire to our ground forces! A battleship? Are you kidding me? Boy, we're lucky, aren't we? Always running into monsters like this. Hey, kid! You mind if I give up already? stand a chance against him. Damn it! The Rosgrees are rolling in on our position! I bet you can see that smoke from miles around. Good work! Blow the enemy away! Oh man, the tables have turned completely! Nobody can survive under that blast! Man, first subs and now battleships? I'll fire a direct hit on the enemy battleship. Enemy long-range supporting fire suppressed. Threat to Allied ground forces has been eliminated. Mission complete. Return to base. Blaze, begin landing checks. 
You're cleared to land. Three miles to touchdown. Two miles to touchdown. One mile to touchdown. You're coming in too fast. Slow down. Perfect, Blaze. Stand by and prepare for your next sortie. Operation Desert Blitz was a success. Yuktabania's airfield and oil facility were completely destroyed, thanks to the teamwork between the air and ground forces. The Ocean Army is advancing quickly on all fronts, and enemy forces in the southern part of the Jalachi Desert are on the verge of being annihilated. The ground forces, fresh off securing the Jalachi area of operation, have set off for Kruik Fortress in their quest to liberate Sinegrad. Our ground forces have scored a major victory. If we can destroy the fortress standing in our path, we'll open a road to the capital of Yuktabania. Then we'll storm the heart of the enemy. We're holding a peace ceremony at a stadium in November City. Our vice president will be giving a speech to rally the citizens. Now, uh, you've been asked to do a flyby above the ceremony. Don't screw this up! You should consider this an honor and do your part to boost citizen morale. This is the vice president we're dealing with here. So consider this a guard detail as well and be prepared for anything out there. Your mission this time takes place above November International Stadium, a gigantic 70,000-seat arena located in the center of the city of November on the southern coastline of Osea. Vice President Appleruth is giving a speech there, and you will be conducting a flyby above the stadium as part of the production. You can return to base at 1730 hours, the time the speech is scheduled to end. After the flyby, remain in formation and conduct a combat air patrol in and around the stadium until that time. This is a ceremonial flight, but you will be fully armed in case of an emergency. Don't forget to patrol the airspace surrounding the stadium, too. Captain, please choose my plane. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? Captain, which plane should I use? So, we're going up in this formation? War Dog, launch! I'm proud to be able to fly like this. This is a ceremonial flight. Watch your manners, kid. Everyone, form up and don't stray apart from each other. Okay, Blaze? Great. Let's begin. It's time. Begin your ceremonial flight.
kid. We look great. Pretty tight.
we have to deal with are the fighters. Evacuation has begun. Well, yeah, but they can't get out that fast. Why'd the Vice President have to assemble so many people here? Jeez, what a moron. Captain Davenport, shut your mouth and take out those enemies. Aye, aye, sir. Now you're talking. There's too many! Approaching gun range. Four minutes until reinforcements arrive. Just as we were briefed, there's only four of them. That may be enough. These are the Rosgrees, after all. I feel like we're being sent to die as some sacrifice. Somebody go up to the front of the line and guide everyone out. Can you evacuate the VIP boxes first? Damn, I forgot to keep track of how many planes I shot down. Fire! Get out of there if you want to survive! Finally shook off that missile. Fox 2! Fox 2! They won't be able to evacuate the citizens in time! One ain't shot down! Damn Ross Get out of there! Stay calm and assume command. Fire a missile at me, huh? Oh, you're asking for it, man. Kit's missile hit the target. Three more minutes. He's shooting. What's the point of this mission? Quad six, watch yourself. Don't let your captain hear that. You can thank those damn warmongers for all this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Attack. Attack the vice president. Get the rest of us just one piece. I guess we just took a step back on the road to peace. Missile evaded. He's all over my back today. Are they singling me out or what? Kid, this is Chopper. Are the reinforcements close? Roger, I'll hang on a little longer. We can't let them take control of the airspace. Firing! Launching weapon! Radar lock! The main gate's swarming with an angry mob. Crazy spectators running for their lives. Bandit, shot down. We can't make it. There's too many of them. Hang in there. Two minutes until Allied reinforcements arrive. Okay, I'll get ready to pass the baton. Attention all units approaching November City. I guess they had us going to. What? Who is this? That was a pretty good drill they got going. Anyway, drill is over. Return to base. Restore communication link! The Allied planes aren't coming! What's going on? Reinforcements are on the way! Just hang in there! Damn it! None of the bases are responding to me! What don't you understand? There's an air battle above the stadium! The Vice President has already left the stadium! How much longer do you think we can hold them off? Till the very end, you Get idiot! Out. We've got to protect these people! Get out of there, everyone! I'll buy you as much time as I can! We aren't in a good position here! Divert the enemy's attention over here! I thought this was gonna be an easy job! Damn it! Our air defense system's a wet paper bag. How could the enemy penetrate so far inward? No, there's not enough time! Blaze's missile hit the target. Somebody! Somebody help me! Fox 2! Fox 2! Nice kill, Captain! You Warning! Enemy radar missiles. is tracking your every move! New enemy, enemy formation detected. It's a flight of enemy stealth fighters. Are they inbound to the stadium? They're dead set on crushing us, both physically and politically. Gordy's on one. The sky isn't sanitized yet, but go ahead and begin your attack. Roger, Quad. We're commencing attack on the stadium. Missile, get out of there! Damn! Are you alright? You've been hit. 
Ah, it's nothing big. I'm not wounded. I ought to be able to keep this plane in the air a little longer. Besides, planes are expendable. Right, kid? That's it, kid. That's the kind of line I expect from a captain. I can't confirm their position from here. You'll have to detect them visually. I see them. They're over there. We've got to protect the area until the evacuation's complete. Captain, I'll hit the fighters first. Is anyone in contact with those fighters overhead? Just the planes? Can they defend us until the evacuation's complete? Calm down. We'll just have to trust the Air Force. Quad 5, missile behind you. The evacuation isn't done yet. Chopper, can you bail out? Well, that's kind of difficult right now. All airborne aircraft, do not return to base. November City is still under attack. This is not a drill. Repeat! Shot down by the enemy. There's nothing but houses down below. I can't leave this plane yet. Kid, you see any place where I can drop this plane? Neither do I. The stadium, Chopper. Can you hear me? Drop it into the center of the stadium and bail out. Do you understand? Roger. Good idea. That gives me some hope that I just might make it. I'd better wait for the crowd to evacuate some more.
faithful fighter pilot to the end. Join me in saluting Captain Devonport. Vice President Appleruth escaped from the stadium in his personal vehicle. Despite the late arrival of reinforcements, civilian casualties were kept to a bare minimum. The Yuktabanian fighter's ingress route is currently under investigation. Captain Alvin H. Davenport, who lost his life in the battle, is no longer with the team. He has been granted a posthumous two-rank promotion. Look at that wreckage. I'm amazed they're still making them like this. They? This looks like a standard fighter jet, but it's actually different. They've done a lot of things to reduce the number of parts and cut down manufacturing costs, without sacrificing the plane's strength and performance. Very cost effective. You could make three planes for the price of two this way. Who's this they you're referring to? North Ossia Grunder Industries. Formerly the South Belker Munitions Factory, run by the Belkin government. But Ossia has taken over that land now. South Belkin technology is being used for Ossia. Why does Yuktabania have this? Good question. Actually, <clears throat> speaking of Belka, Osea recruited some Belkin flying aces after the war 15 years ago to strengthen our Air Force. You know about this? No. Really? An aggressor squadron comprised entirely of Belkin aces. Our old enemy. Well, that's the rumor anyway. Even an old fox like me isn't sure they exist. I bet the current administration isn't even aware of the story. Before the Ocean ground forces can proceed into the Yuktabanian capital of Sinegrad, they'll have to deal with Kruk Fortress directly in their path. The robust defense of this fortress has stalled the advance of our armies for the past five days. If this situation continues for much longer, it will give Yuktabania time to complete preparations for a counterattack. We need to take the fortress and enable our ground forces to reach the enemy capital as quickly as possible. To do this, we will launch an air attack on Kruk Fortress. Our last attack sortie fell prey to their anti-aircraft guns and air defense fighters. Deal a decisive blow to the fortress and its surrounding air power, and support the ground forces as they penetrate the complex. Open the door to Kruk. The day of Sinegrad's liberation is near. Captain, please choose my plane. Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? War Dog, launch! Pilots, check your plane and prepare for refueling. One mile to refueling craft. One hundred yards to go. Perfect, Blaze. Commencing refueling. Today we're gonna do it! This 
is Abel. Don't be stupid. Can't you see that wall in front of us? We're getting air support from Sand Island today. Roger that. I'll tell everyone now. Lieutenant Colonel, the enemy sent this message to our armies. This fortress will not be captured. Go back to your country. Finish this up quick so we can get home to our families. Edge engaging. Allied forces in the air, listen to me. If the ground forces are wiped out, this operation will fail. We need to place top priority on eliminating the threat to our ground forces. We're counting on you. Watch out for enemy planes. We're dealing with the Roskries here. You know the Sand Island Squadron above us? Supposedly, they're the Roskries we keep hearing about. Radio intercept team! Does the enemy have something hidden up their sleeve? Our air support's from Sand Island, so don't worry about a thing! I'm gonna take my picture on top of that command tower tomorrow. It's down to us or them? I see it. Coliseum is still in operation. This is the third attempt. Remember, there will be no fourth time. Enemy ground forces advancing. Another large-scale offensive. This is the third time. Maintain your heading. Don't get caught in our anti-aircraft. This is ready for takeoff. Remaining aircraft will follow shortly. Don't forget to check your target. We'll eliminate the threat near the gate with the help of Sand Island. I'll launch a close air support effort. Captain, it's up to you to prioritize the targets for this attack. Only one. Miss that long. fortress rolls pretty high. It would be a blast to break it down. Literally. If we break through here, the capital's just ahead. Sorry, no visitors allowed. Run along home now. Our dread's been blown off. We can't maneuver. King Cobra, get out while we can still provide cover. Enemy facility confirmed destroyed. Allied planes overhead. This is the Fertilance Armored Brigade. Requesting orders to penetrate the fortress. All right, roger that. Air support is with us. All Fertilance units, forward! HQ to 1st Platoon. Move forward! Here they come. I've been waiting for this. Thanks, you! We've broken through the Southern Fortress Wall! Roger. Nice work. First barrier clear! Taking stop with record time, too! Where's it coming from? Check the direction. Can't we go any faster? They have a grid view on all sides from here. They can target us no matter where we are. This fortress has turned out to be full of surprises. Keep your tank off roll short over here. Begin launch! Anti-tank battle. Climb as steep as you can the moment you're airborne. Use max throttle. We'll get shut down before we even make it up. This is the only way. You've got to carry out your mission. Enemy planes taking off from Fortress Runway. They're sending Engine reinforcements to launch a counterattack! This is Visno 1. Commence attack. Targeting the Rosgrees and the enemy strike craft. Defense network destroyed! Damn it! These guys are unstoppable! Enemy plane shot down by Blaze. Damn it, this one. Buff Adder and Mamba teams heavily annihilated. Remaining force at 70%. Edge! Firing! Blaze's missile hit the target. Enemy facility destroyed. Our ground forces are under intense fire! Enemy facility confirmed destroyed. We're being attacked from the air and on the ground! How are we supposed to advance like this? Enemy tank confirmed destroyed. Target hit! AA gun destroyed. We can't give up our air superiority here. These are the aces of the UK Air Force! I can't change them all! Firing! Firing! This is Tarantula. We're halfway through the fortress. If things keep going like this, we just might pull it off this time. 
Enemy tanks advancing out of Fortress Gate. Advance at slow speed. Fox 2, Fox 2. Infantry attacks. Not even the Rosgrees would be able to dodge these missiles. No ammo left, sir. Just machine gun rounds. Fox 2. Archer, Fox 2. More than half of the facility has fallen to the enemy. The enemy's exposing the flank. Fire! Don't miss! Target hit! Lure them over here. We'll attack from both sides. Send it back to the rear. Uh, uh, this guy's good! Our ground forces are inferior. They might just overrun us this time for ricochet. Looks like we'll be able to enjoy the new year with our families, thanks to Sand Island. It's them! They're back again! Their attacks are so deadly, it's frightening. I can see how they'd be like demons to the enemy. HQ, we're at the Northern Fortress Wall. We're breaking through! At this rate, we'll be able to make up for all that lost time. This is Fertilance. We're at the Fortress exit. Should we go outside? Please advise. Roger. We'll break down the gate. Thanks for your instructions from above. Good luck to you! I've heard of the four wings of Sand Island, but I only see three. Don't you know? Only good little boys can see the fourth one. Bust through here like you're gonna run all the way to Sinegrad. We're pushing them back all the way to Halloran! Bring out the dragon! Blast a hole in the wall! Enemy tank! Confirmed! Destroyed! has been successfully captured. We're going back to our country real soon. The so-called impregnable fortress fell in half a day and the momentum of the Ocean army had reached a peak. Its final stronghold lost, the Yugtubanian army was setting up a barricade in the urban area up ahead. The next battle could see a lot of bloodshed, with innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. However, the men and officers of the Ocean army were optimistic. They thought, as long as the three fighters from Sand Island were taking part in the action, things would turn out all right. They have become the center of the army's strength now. Squadron, this is Thunderhead. Fly to the tanker for refueling. There is an allied squadron to the east of your position. They'll guide you to the tanker for air refueling. Good work, people. 
We're one step away from the enemy's capital. We can win this as long as you're with us. I can feel it. Those enemy pilots we fought today. I can't imagine how wonderful it would be to fly with them in peacetime. Yeah. War Dog, this is the 8492nd Squadron. Can you see us? It'll be an honor for us to escort you heroes. Let's go home. Yeah, but I'm still wondering what Captain Chopper was doing when... Enemy ECM! Wait a second. That escort plane. Oh no! The 8492nd Squadron doesn't exist! Someone in the army is trying to lead us into a trap. Just like back at the stadium. Thunderhead! Thunderhead, respond! Multiple unmarked fighters inbound. Hey, is that their voice on the radio? We must destroy them. We can't let them end this war. Roger. We'll surround them and attack from all directions. The 8492nd Squadron argued to Bonnie and Spies? 8492, 8492, 8492, I, I know I've heard that somewhere before. That's right. When we were helping the President's Merchants in Landing, it was the 8492nd who took our place. Yeah, you're right. They got the President, too. So that's what escalated the war? Yeah. We've got to tell people about this. But how? We're completely surrounded. So we'll break through. I'm breaking through their curtain. Missile hit. I shot him down. Captain, let's break through this blockade and escape to the east. The captain shot one down. Thunderhead, respond. I've got nothing but gray on my radar. It's being jammed. Captain shot down a bandit! It's a trap! We fell right into it! Captain, we've got to make it back. Even if we have to turn our backs to the enemy, right? Yes, we still have things we have to do, and people we have to protect. I'll only concentrate on the enemies directly in our path! Edge, Fox 2! Would it surprise you if I said that President Harling is nowhere to be found within the capital? Not really. The hardline war Osi is waging right now hardly resembles the peace policy the President was promoting. Let me guess. He disappeared just before we invaded Yuktabania, right? Exactly. 
My journalist friends told me that nobody's seen him enter or leave the office since. All of his decisions are communicated through the vice president. And it gets better. A lot of the military officers that resigned over disagreement with the president's arms reduction plan have started to return to the capital. I found out something myself. That Belkin aggressor force I was telling you about. Apparently they're called the 8492nd Squadron. Also, and here's the kicker, Captain Hamilton, the adjutant base commander here, used to be assigned to the 8492nd. What? Oh, they're back. There's no point in talking to that blockhead commander. He treated our president like an idiot just because he wanted peace. What about his adjutant, Captain Hamilton? Roger that. The captain and I will go see him. Grim, you go let Jeanette and Pops know. Right. Be careful. What? Nagase and the captain went to see Hamilton? What is it? Did I do something wrong? Let's hurry. You got it. We don't have time to warn the captain and Nagase. We'll have to talk to the base commander ourselves. Coming, second lieutenant. I was just thinking about calling you over. Me? Special Forces Second Lieutenant Peter and Beagle. Or I guess you'd prefer Pops. Fifteen years ago, you and Bartlett were shot down over enemy terrain. Bartlett's squadron HQ was destroyed. And all of its data was fried by Belka's magnetic pulse weaponry. When you made it back to the Allied front lines, it was Bartlett's word that convinced them that you were his squadron leader. Is that really true? Bartlett turned out to be a spy. So, who are you really? Can't prove anything about your military record. Can you? Hamilton's got the base commander deceived, too. I punched that guy's lights out. That bastard was wearing a Major's insignia on his shoulder. I don't know who it is, but someone's trying to widen the rift between the two countries and keep this war going. If Osa continues to win, then the war will be over. And they're after us to prevent that? You're kidding! You people are the pillar of morale for the entire Ocean army now. And now you know something you were better off not knowing. The President's disappearance. Listen, Pops, who exactly are you? <sighs> it's no good! They seized our planes in the hangars! Hangar C in the rear probably isn't so heavily guarded. Yeah, but... over there, there's nothing but... We'll escape with my training jets. Good thing I maintain all my planes well, eh? Let's try it. Jeanette, you take the seat behind me.
Now keep climbing to a higher altitude. This is the E-492nd Squadron. We have a visual on the enemy. Engaging. It's them! This is Thunderhead. Roger, 8492nd. Are those guys really traitors? Yeah. I can't believe it. You can believe what you want, but it's the truth. 8492nd Squadron, you have permission to shoot down those planes. 8492nd, Roger. I'll get you guys out of here. You all stay with me now. Good answer. since then. What's that island down there? Damn it! My radar's out! That's a volcanic island. There's a strong magnetic field all around it. Our radar's out too, so you guys better follow me closely. The ravine is widening up ahead! What's that? This is a graveyard for scrap planes! This is so intense. 
intense. My senses are sharp as knives right now. I can't even blink! My eyes are drying up! Hey, you still keeping up with me? Good, that's it. Those folks sure don't seem to like us very much. Is the 8492nd following us? I'm too busy to check my six right now. Whoa! That was a close one! Good, good, keep it up. You're doing great. Relax. You can do this. Yes, sir. Where did you learn how to fly like this, Pops? Many air battles long ago, my young aviator. We're diving into that cave now. Are you all ready for this? Sorry, of course you are. I guess that question was a little silly. in the darkness. This is unreal! It's insane! It's just barely wide enough for us to pass through. How can you fly like that? That's not human! <laughs> Easy. You're giving me way too much credit. Stay low, or you'll graze the ceiling. Light field of vision. Right, that's it. I knew you could do it. You've all become excellent pilots. I can see the exit. There's the open sky on the other side. The exit! The light's blinding me! This is Edge. Are we still being pursued? Roger. Looks like we can relax a little. Second, we're seeing the traitors on the radar again. There they are again. This is Swordsman. I just found them. So now I just shoot him down? Exactly. He's not really our enemy.
must meet bail out. He wants us to bail out? What say we trust him then? Jeanette, you first. Swordsman to Thunderhead. Splash one. Attract on radar. Kill confirmed. destroyed. You'd better give me a medal for this later. This is Sea Goblin. We have found the floating remains of the destroyed aircraft in the water. I don't see any of the crew. It looks like they couldn't eject and sank with their planes. Roger, Sea Goblin. Return to base. Let's go. We've got a new home waiting for you. All planes from the Sand Island Detachment were shot down by naval jets from the carrier Kestrel. Likewise, all of the pilots are confirmed dead. Captain Anderson, the man who commanded the aircraft carrier Kestrel and kept her afloat through countless battles. Nah, I'm just a guy who's fought one losing battle after another. However, since this war began, this ship hadn't taken a single hit from enemy forces. This ship may be unharmed, but it pains me to see fewer and fewer pilots coming back every time we launch them out on combat sorties. Now the only pilot left is Captain Snow, the squad leader. Nobody wants an aircraft carrier without aircraft. So we're just sitting idle here. At the end of the last war, I was assigned the mission of dropping a nuclear weapon on a city in my own country. Hmm. When I refused and went AWOL, it was Captain Bartlett who took me in. His nickname was also Kid back then. He was a strange man. Fifteen years since the war and he never got promoted once. In my country there was a group called the Grey Men. I'm likely to still be around today. To them? I'm a traitor, and for the past 15 years, Bartlett's protected me from them. Speaking of which, you don't think the Grey Men are involved with the disappearance of President Harling, do you? I've got an intelligence-gathering vessel in my fleet, the Andromeda, that's capable of intercepting all forms of communications. Recently, it picked up a secret message transmitted in Belkin. That, Colonel, is why I called all of you here. All this intense flying's tough on an old body. From here on out, it's their time to shine. Hmm. But what do we do about planes? We've captured a ship trying to smuggle aircraft from a South Belkin company into Yuktabania. Plenty of planes to choose from. All right. If there aren't any objections, then I'll take command of this air operation. We're launching a rescue operation for the president of Osea within the Principality of Belka. 
The Communications Intelligence Ship Andromeda received information that President Harling is being held in Belka. The location is an old castle positioned on the southern edge of the border zone between Belka and North Ossia. Sea Goblin, our helicopter squadron, will handle the direct rescue effort. After securing the area, a helicopter will descend on the castle and drop our infiltrating rescue squad. It will station keep in the air while the rescue is taking place on the ground and in the castle. Your mission is to provide air support for the Sea Goblin's rescue operation and destroy any opposing enemy forces. Choose an aircraft for the mission from the Kestrel's carrier jets and prepare to launch. Captain, please choose my plane. Captain, please choose a plane for me to pilot. Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? War Dog, launch! Altitude restrictions canceled. Return to your mission. Good luck. Captain Snow, I'll be at your 6 o'clock. It's good to be flying with you, sir. It's been a long time since I've flown in formation. Back in the first battle after the war began, the chopper, that is, Captain Davenport told me you yelled at him for getting in your way. I was still sitting reserved back then. Do you read me? You guys should have sight of the castle by now. Sea Gobbler's gonna descend for an insertion. So can you take out the air defense batteries for them? Take your time and be thorough. You don't want to leave any standing. This is Sea Gobbler. Is Captain Nagase there? Yeah. Your team rescued me from that mountain in the snowstorm. That helicopter ride was pretty comfy, huh? Hey, you ever want to transfer here, let me know. Hey, what happened to that motor mouth? He's real quiet today. He... He's... Not here. All anti-aircraft fire suppressed. We'll continue protecting the helicopter and infiltration forces. Nixie! You guys drop first and take up an overwatch position in the area. It's a dismal castle standing over a lifeless land. We'll be meeting the president himself. Make sure you look sharp! Target hit! 
This is what the end of the world must look like. Even the air over these lands is heavy from the memories of Belka. dreary place. Man, why can't we be deployed to a tropical island for a change? The wind's pretty strong. Don't let our rotors hit the castle. All right, guys. Move out. Hey, we got a line back here. Hurry up and jump. Hurry up and get going before I start shooting somebody. unit is mobilizing reinforcements. Roger. Intercept the reinforcements and keep them from getting to the fight. I'm counting on you. Enemy tanks also emerging from the castle. Should we split up? Roger. Proceeding with the mission at hand. This is Kubla and I. Proceed with infiltration of the castle. I'll support the invasion effort at the castle. The stone structures inside this castle are quite impressive. It feels like there's more than just our enemies lurking in this place. They'll be right down before they reach the castle. Where's their support? The road's blocked by burning vehicles. Don't step on the stone floors. Your footsteps will echo all over the place. We're getting an unfriendly welcome from outside the castle, too. Rosgrees, can you show them some of the same? Thanks. Teach them that it's only polite to respond in kind. The enemies probably detected them by now. They'll begin a counterattack soon. Enemy plane 
plane shot down by flames. Trussell 3, enemy plane at your 6 o'clock. Break! All right! I got behind him! Damn it. This is it. Fighter on our tail. It's over. Calm down, man. This one's on your side. Fox 2, target hit. They're not getting through us today. Let's show them what we've got. From what I'm hearing on the radio, it seems like they're in trouble. That's because all you're hearing is radio transmissions from our side. Rick, fire back! You can't stay down forever! Make sure we can pick them up the moment we get the signal. Blazes missile hit! Enemy tank confirmed destroyed! Very nice, Captain Snow. Well, I can't let you folks have all the glory. Watch your surroundings. Keep an eye on your blind spot. Quiet. Enemies just around the corner. If we don't defeat the enemy, our forces inside the castle will be in danger. Oh no, they're targeting the helicopter! It's coming this way! Come on, help us! Hey, over here! We're your targets, not that helicopter! We've broken into the command post! This is the enemy's nerve center! Whatever you do, don't shoot the president by accident! We can't protect this area any longer! Waiting orders! Hurry! The enemy's gonna start using desperate measures soon!
Thank you, everyone. I appreciate your efforts. By the way, your voice sounds familiar. Are you... I thought so. Looks like I owe you another one. Blaze, begin carrier landing checks. You are cleared to land. to touchdown. Two miles to touchdown. One mile to touchdown. Perfect, Blaze. Stand by and prepare for your next sortie. Mission accomplished. President Harling was safely retrieved. The President is showing some signs of fatigue, but in general his condition is good. When we got word of the President's return and ran up to the bridge, he was smiling and chatting with Pops and Captain Anderson. Apparently, he spent his days confined in the old castle, looking at the seven ground zero craters right out his window, which serve as the border between the two countries of North and South Belka. In the end, the Ocean army couldn't take the Yuktabanian capital, and the war began to bog down. For Belka, who challenged the world to battle, but were crushed by the twin powers of Osea and Yuktubania. There can be no sweeter revenge. They had created the hatred between the two countries, hoping that the war would eventually exhaust them both. The military officials on both sides were playing right into their hands. The intelligence vessel continued to intercept the Yuktubanian army's communications. One message from Air Force Traffic Control contained a string of mysterious numbers. Latitude, longitude, a date and time, and one more set of numbers. The president had the answer. Well, how about that? These are the numbers of votes I won in my presidential elections. Huh, this is from the first time I won, and here's the number from the election two years ago. This message was meant for me. The coordinates marked a location within North Belkin territory. The date was tomorrow. The squadron from Sand Island became the president's personal air fleet, even as the official reports continued to state that they were shot down and killed. This was their new emblem. We're carrying out a reconnaissance mission in order to obtain photographs of the enemy complex. After deciphering the code we received earlier, we've learned that the mining facility in the forest area northwest of Belka is active. An early warning radar network has been spread across the entire forest. To reduce the probability of enemy detection, this mission will be carried out by a single aircraft. Try to approach the target under complete electronic silence, evading radar and passive search techniques. Flying at low altitude is an effective method of delaying or denying enemy detection. You will receive instructions on your recon target from the Command Information Center upon arriving in the mission area. The CIC will monitor you from a support camp. Concentrate on slipping through the enemy radar net first. Your plane in this mission will be completely stripped of weaponry. Instead, it will be equipped with the necessary visual reconnaissance equipment. There is a chance you may encounter the enemy, but your recon mission always takes top priority. Once you take the photos, egress from the target area and return through the enemy defenses as directed. Oh. Mm -hmm.
Rosgree's launch. Blaze, how you feeling? Solo flights can be real lonely, but that's what flying's all about, really. Take a look at your search radar. The enemy's radar range is marked out by those circles. Make sure you don't enter any of those circles, and fly to the east. The enemy radar's coverage area is smaller at low altitude. You want to see it for yourself? Keep your altitude low and slip past the radar to go in. This is strictly a recon mission, so you will be unarmed. So unfortunately, you won't be able to destroy the enemy radar. Sorry. Maintain radio silence until you reach the destination. I'll then explain the target and how to photograph it. Got it? Make sure you don't get caught within coverage area of the enemy radar. Good luck. We'll go into radio silence in a moment. Hang in there until the next transmission. Target area. Cancel radio silence. I'm monitoring your status with a low resolution camera. Something's being moved from the mine entrance to that transport plane. Okay, let's get a photo with the mine entrance and the transport plane in the frame. The camera's triggered by the missile launch button. Press it to take a picture. Photo received. I see some 8492nd Squadron members. Some planes with the Yuktabanian Air Force mark on them. The Belkins are sending aggressors posing as allies over to Yuktabani as well. All right, let's get a shot of both countries' emblems next to each other for evidence.
miles to touchdown. Two miles to touchdown. One mile to touchdown. You're coming in too fast, slow down. Perfect, Blaze. Stand by and prepare for your next sortie. The recon mission in the mining facility was a success. The images taken clearly show aircraft from the Yuktabanian Aggressor Squadron parked next to planes from the mysterious 8492nd Squadron. We will continue to analyze the photographs you took. Analysis of the surveillance photos taken on the previous mission revealed tactical nuclear weapons of the same type used by Belka in the war 15 years ago. These weapons, hidden in the mine, are about to be retrieved and deployed to the two aggressor squadrons in Osia and Yuktabania. The president has made his decision. Destroy the entrance to the mine before the next nuclear weapon is removed from the shaft and bury those weapons of evil inside for good. This mission will be carried out with the usual four-ship formation. You'll need powerful and numerous weapons on target to destroy the rock face above the entrance. Captain, please choose my plane. Captain, please choose a plane for me to pilot. Captain, which plane should I use? Is this the formation you want? Rosgrees, launch! Blaze, you are cleared for takeoff. Altitude restrictions canceled. Return to your mission. Good luck. Today will be easy since we don't have to worry about any radar. Right, Captain? Blaze, Archer, don't get too cocky. I can't believe the captain flew around this place all by himself. Just thinking about those nukes that are buried up ahead gives me the goosebumps. Those nukes are exactly why the Balkans have lowered themselves to sneaking around, pitting two countries against each other. You give a man enough weapons, he'll start to think he's more powerful than he really is. Of course, it's beyond me how these people could delude themselves into thinking they can control the very weapon which wiped out their own cities.
tell you the truth, the thought of nuclear weapons just terrifies me. Do you think they've already carried out nuclear weapons? Yes, I hope we make it in time. Is that the same guy from yesterday? Stay sharp, they aren't here to spy on us this time. I never liked being in Belkin land like this. The air just feels heavier around here. right in front of us. We're almost there. We'll stop them here! The enemy's mirroring our movements. We're over the target area. The Grabok are already gone. They must have already taken away some of the nukes. Maybe we were too late. Let's destroy the mine entrance anyway. You see that rock bed above the entrance? Shoot it that! I probably won't be able to bring it down in one shot. Keep on attacking until it crumbles. Understand? Good. I'm counting on you, Blaze. The bedrock looks to be very thick. Focus your attacks and keep at it. The planes have black bodies. Origin unknown. These guys managed to shake off the Grabon planes. Be careful! Here they come. Should we split up and take care of them? This is Swordsman. Roger that. No change in strategy. Captain, I'll fire on the rock bed up above. Uh, the nukes won't blow up if we shoot them, right? So the nuclear weapons have been lying here dormant for 15 years.
ammunition. Nice kill, Blaze! Roger, if you think this is the right time for it. Direct hit on the rock bed, but we still need a few more hits to succeed, Captain. sealed in those nukes. But there are more Belkin nukes out there. Mission accomplished. Thanks to that rock avalanche, the mine entrance is now sealed off and the tactical nukes have been removed as a threat to the world. Intel has lost track of the nukes they already removed, but it is certain that the weapons sealed in the mine shaft will never be deployed. We've intercepted another mysterious radio transmission. This time it specifies a location within Yuktabania. It's probably... Well, this is just a hunch on my part, but I bet that's where the nuclear weapon sent into Yuktabani is located. And there's another set of numbers. This time it's a radio frequency. Your next mission is a reconnaissance flight above a canyon in the northern highlands of Yuktabani, the place described in the unidentified radio transmission. The highlands are completely covered by the Yuktabani air defense system, so the only safe place to fly is within the canyon itself. Fly down the canyon and reach the target area. Once you're there, set your radio channel to the directed frequency and begin gathering information. You may be engaged by local Yuktabanian forces, and depending on the contents of the transmission, you may also find yourself engaging in other combat as well. You are permitted to fight the enemy as necessary, but you must try to keep your altitude below the rim of the canyon. Captain, please choose my plane. Captain, please choose a plane for me to pilot. Captain, which plane should I use? 
We're launching with this formation then. Cross Grease, launch! Oh wow, it's true, they've come! Fighter jets! I can tell because I'm intercepting enemy alert signals as well. Can you hear this? Who are you? Identify yourself. A great number of students and intellectuals are staging a resistance against the military government of Yuktabanya. You can call me Alyosha. That's not my real name, of course. I'm so glad you actually came. It's just like he said. He? We have no time. Let me explain the situation. We received contact from an apparent resistance group that seized and captured one of Yuktabanya's nuclear weapons. Intelligence believes that it's one of the nukes taken from the mine before we sealed it off on the 12th. Furthermore, our radar has detected numerous enemy fighters entering the canyon and flying towards the local airspace. The force includes Yuktobanian fighters and armed helicopters. Their mission is most likely to destroy the resistance's hideout. The enemy fighters are spread out throughout the canyon, so we believe that the Yuktobanians still don't have the exact location of the hideout. Destroy the enemy forces before they can find and wipe out the resistance. As mentioned previously, the local space is blanketed by Yuktobania's air defense system. Watch your altitude, and whatever you do, don't fly above the rim of the canyon. A physics graduate student from Yuktobania Central University is currently dismantling the nuclear bomb so that it can never be detonated again. We need you to hold off the Yuktobanian forces from entering the ravine until he finishes the task. This is very Four. We've sanitized the drop point. It feels like the cliff is closing in on us. Flying here is nearly impossible, don't you think so? And on top of that, the airspace above us is under their control. If all they have are helicopters, then we can take them on. We're now dismantling the nuclear bomb. This is a pretty tiny bomb. Maybe it's a tactical nuke. Hard to believe something like this could wipe out an entire city. Captain, if you climb too high, you'll be an easy target for missiles. Let's start with that cave. Going on my signal. I feel like we're being lured into a trap. Negative. We're restricted by the terrain here. He? Someone who knows us? Could it be? It's pitch black. Give me a night scope. I don't see anyone here. Have they already escaped? Hurry up and find them. We have no idea what they're up to. This is going to be a real test of our flying best. ability. Let's do our best. HQ to Special Forces. Report your status. This is Special Forces. There's no one here. I just heard another jet engine. Are you managing to keep the enemy outside at bay? That's great. We better do our best, too. I'm just praying they don't blow up that thing by accident.
Any experience handling explosives? <laughs> the best we've ever managed was making Molotov cocktails. Are you sure you're okay? Sure. I'll have it all figured out. In theory, anyway. Watch out! My hand's slipping! It's gonna drop! Hey! What's going on? Answer me! Uh, we're okay. We caught it just in time. Phew. Look, stop scaring us like that, okay? We've got to do it. We can't afford not to. Stay calm. You can do it.
Mission accomplished. The information we obtained, as well as the physical damage we caused, dealt a significant blow to the enemy. Judging by our analysis of the information, there appears to be a highly organized resistance force acting against the Yuktabanian military regime. It is likely the nuclear weapon which Yuktabania acquired was safely dismantled by the resistance. The intelligence vessel Andromeda has picked up another encrypted transmission in Belkin. They have changed the code, so it took a little longer to decipher the message. The content is as follows. N attack by ASAT on Okchebersk to commence at 1400 hours. Apparently, efforts to secretly repair the sabotaged Arkbird are now complete. We confirmed this by observing its orbit from the ground. We believe that a Belkin nuke has already been loaded onto the Arkbird. In order for the Arkbird to attack the city of Okchebersk in Yuktabania at 1400 hours, it must make one major correction to its orbital trajectory. To do this, it must first drop into the upper atmosphere and use air friction to lower its speed. We have already calculated the time and location in which this maneuver will occur. Your mission is to destroy the Arkbird. You will only have one chance to stop it. Destroy it before it withdraws from the battle zone. Captain, please choose my plane. Captain, please choose a plane for me to pilot. Captain, which plane should I use? Are we launching in this formation? Rosgrees, launch! We were so close. I feel like the Belkins are always one step ahead. Don't you, Captain? Still, Blaze, we can't give up now. We haven't run out of luck just yet. Let's go! I can see it now, Nagase. Yeah. It'll be tough reaching that altitude. Hey, is everything okay? What do you mean? Wait, the Arkbird! It just jettisoned something. It's an escape capsule. Adler to Shansei. It got away. Is he an astronaut? Yeah, it's all right. We don't need him anymore. Oh, damn it. He must have done something to the control system before he got away. Turn off that switch. Damn, we're slowing down. We're gonna dive deep into the atmosphere. Captain, this is Archer. Doesn't the Arkbird's approach path seem too deep? Its altitude is too low for an orbit change. That white bird was a symbol of hope for Captain Nagase. And now, she must try to shoot it down. I'm in attack position, awaiting orders. Adler Deshansé, we're under attack! What? The Ocean Army is supposed to be wrapped around our finger. Who the hell? Black bodies, that emblem. It's them, the ghosts of Rosgrees. The survivors from the Omnir squadron told me about them. Launch the Bogles! Get rid of them! Multiple unmanned fighters! They're coming this way! That launch port wasn't in the original design. The Belkins modified it? I'm engaging the smaller aircraft deployed from the Arkbird. Blaze, permission to separate? Roger, dispersing. Shansay to Adler, do whatever it takes to gain altitude. Counting down to ignition of boosters. I know all about the Arkbird. I was in love with it. I used to stare at the blueprints all the time. That big engine in the middle is a booster designed to give it enough speed to escape the atmosphere. If we destroy that, it'll never make it into space again. Destroy the Arkbird. Are you sure about this? When we're at peace again, the President will build another one for us. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. I 
right? I know. We'll head for nearby Ocean territory and set off the nuke. Your sacrifice will never be forgotten. Lockdown! It was supposed to be a symbol of harmony. A noble craft. Well, this is the reality in front of our eyes. It changed bearings. It's heading south now. What are they thinking? Where are they? Are they heading for Ocean territory? If it penetrates Ocean airspace and self-destructs, it'll be a catastrophe. The rear engine! Destroy the engine on its back! I think they've made the worst decision possible. It's hard to fathom their desire to spread war this far. Can you believe it, Blaze? You may not believe it, but it's still happening. We have to face that fact. Our cause will live on, to be taken up by others that follow. Ready all cannons. We're going out in a blaze of glory. We'll take the lost grease down with us. It's still got some tricks up its sleeve. It's firing from the small laser cannon at the top. Man! Flying through all this barrage is gonna be tough! I hit it! Edge, Fox 2. It's not slowing down at all. Finally shook it off! Its defenses are still tight, I can't get near it! Fox 2, Fox 2! They're firing those lasers relentlessly! Archer, firing! Yes! Missile hit! Your mission was distorted by human treachery! Your days in the air are over! We succeeded in halting the Arkbird's nuclear attack on the city of Okchebursk in Yuktabania. The Arkbird crashed into the middle of the Saras Ocean after attempting to detonate the nuke above Osea. Miraculously, there were no ships near the area of the crash site. According to our investigation team, there is currently no evidence of radiation fallout in the area.
The president broadcast his voice repeatedly in an effort to reveal the truth to his citizens and soldiers. However, the central government, now run by the vice president and his generals, censored all of it, calling it enemy propaganda. And Yuktubania, their enemy, wasn't about to stop fighting either. The president needed to enter the capital himself with his marine force. But that meant risking his life. As he boarded the helicopter, the president smiled and said, Here goes. The third encrypted message from Bartlett came shortly after. This time, there were no coordinates. All it showed was a time and a radio frequency. At the appointed time, everyone gathered in front of the radio speaker. Hey, it's me! Get the wax out of your ears and listen up. We found Nicanor, the leader of Yuktabania, and we broke him out of prison. This war wasn't his doing at all. Captain Bartlett has rescued Prime Minister Nicanor of Yuktabania. He plans to attack an airfield in northeast Yuktabania, steal an airplane, and then escape with the Prime Minister. First, go to the directed area and wait for contact from Captain Bartlett. He'll likely have you support him as he forces his way into the airfield. More mission details will be supplied to you upon arriving at the local airspace. Threat status in the area of operation is unclear, so prepare your flight for the possibility of threats from both the ground and the air. Captain, please choose my plane. Captain, please choose a plane for me to pilot. Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? Ross Grease, launch! It's me. I'm okay so far. And the car's hidden under a bush. Other Resistance members are hidden all over the place. I still got a bad feeling about this. We're storming the gate at 0705 hours. Keep us covered. I'm counting on you. I think there's gonna be an ambush waiting for us. According to Captain Bartlett's information, the Resistance has already infiltrated the airfield and is currently awaiting his arrival. The road to the airfield is covered with checkpoints and defensive positions. We anticipate stiff resistance. Provide close air support for Captain Bartlett's charge. Give him aerial reconnaissance as necessary and guide him to the airfield. The resistance has already agreed on a time to begin operations with Captain Bartlett, so the timing of the mission cannot be changed. If you do not arrive in time, the resistance will be suppressed by the airfield defense forces and the mission will end in failure. After arriving, the Resistance will load Prime Minister Nicanor onto a captured transport plane and Captain Bartlett will attempt to escape. You must help Captain Bartlett arrive at the airfield on time, no matter what. This is Heartbreak One. The jailbreak tour starts here. We're counting on your escort from the air. I'll be witnessing your bravery from down here, everyone. Yes, ma'am. Um, is there someone else in the car? Me? <laughs> I'm mystery woman number one. Swordsman, engaging! Edge, engaging. Archer, engaging! There's a fork up ahead. We have two choices. Take the shorter way and face heavy attacks, or take the safer route, which takes more time. Hey kid, which route looks better to you? Should I take the shorter one? Okay, I'll bust through the shortcut. They're going through there? He told me all about you guys. Kid, Chopper, and, uh... <clears throat> Nicanor. 
Nagase. K Nagase. Caselli, is the Prime Minister all right? He's regaining consciousness. They injected him with some kind of drug. Is Prime Minister Nicanor safe? He'll be all right. We'll protect him with our lives. Watch the car ahead. We've got to help the Prime Minister escape from here. Commence firing as soon as you're in position. Busting right through the middle. 
Don't let a single one escape. The 8492nd is here. This will be the final showdown. Don't worry about me. You just concentrate on dealing with the Gravok. Impressive. These fighters are definitely the Rosgris. Don't make the same mistake as Ognir. You were just lucky. We'll decide who's better another time. I won't be shot down. No one's gonna take my place as Blaze's wingman. I can slip past these guys all day. I can't fire back, but I got you for that now, kid. They're all yours. Great, I can hear you just fine. I'm counting on you. We'll just wait for the next opportunity to meet again. Look at the way the captain moves. So that's how an ace pilot flies. Blaze just keeps surprising me. He's getting better every second. Don't let your guard down! These guys are tough! It's like there's twice as many of them! They move just like those enemies we fought before. The enemies are everywhere! They're still closing on me! They're still closing on me! Looks like you got them all, but the bastards all bailed out. I gotta admit, those guys are true fighter pilots. We'll be back. You can count on it. The 8492nd Squadron or the Belkin Grabok Squadron, to be more exact, has been annihilated. Yuktabanian Prime Minister Nikonor is also safe. Mission accomplished. He had returned once more. He brought Nikonor, the Prime Minister of Yuktabania, with him. And surprisingly, he had brought one more person. A female recon major in the Yuk army. The one who broke his heart 15 years ago. It became clear why nobody could find him in the POW camps. The very first POW of the war. He had escaped before they could even get him into the camps. Yuk Tibania's situation was just like ours. Their leader who espoused reconciliation, was imprisoned after a silent coup d'etat and the country proceeded to march right into large-scale war. What should I call you? Just Major. What's your real name? <laughs> All she did was return a smile. She remained faithful to the Prime Minister and to his vision of peace, and that faith had brought her here. She was carrying a single disc. She told us that the disc contained the secret plans of the Belkin Greymen. So far, we have been unable to decipher the encryption code. The Solg, a military attack satellite that your country began building during the war 15 years ago, then abandoned in the peace that followed. The Arkbird was reborn partly to resurrect that dreadful star. Now, even after the Arkbird was destroyed, the Space Center's mass driver is still launching supplies into orbit. What is that star receiving from them? All hands proceed to battle stations. Yuktobanian fleet ahead. The enemy fleet contains 18 ships, arrayed in a battle formation designed to block our fleet's path. Attention, Yuktobanian fleet. This is Prime Minister Nikanor, representative of your government. I am on the... Uh, Kestrel? Yes, Kestrel. I am on the ocean carrier Kestrel, for the sake of restoring peace between our Yuktobania and the country of Osea. We will once again... Attention! All vessels. The only thing that exists between Yuktobania and Osia is hatred. Prime Minister Nikanor has joined the enemy. Recognize.
face him as such, and sink the enemy fleet with him. But Commander, that's the Prime Minister talking. Please, stand down. We don't know what we're fighting for anymore. Sir, please, cancel engagement and stand down. All our vessels loyal to defeat. A traitor is blocking our way. Attack the frigate ship Potomac. Open fire. Prime Minister, please take your leave. But... Go to our president and get a televised picture of the two of you together shaking hands. Show it to the world. The situation is critical. We must help provide stability as quickly as possible. The Kestrel CIC's IFF info will be directly connected to your HUD so you'll be able to get an ID on your targets. Engage and render powerless all forces carrying out acts of aggression against the Kestrel and our new allied fleet. Captain, please choose my plane. Captain, please choose a plane for me to pilot. Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? Rosgrees, launch! Blaze, you are cleared for takeoff. Altitude restrictions cancelled. Return to your mission. Good luck. A group of comrades has come to our aid. Protect these brave souls. Commence battle. We are not alone. Kestrel CIC here. We'll transmit IFF data for the opposing ships. Don't fire on our allies. Can you do that? The situation here is critical. Neutralize the opposing ships as quickly as you can. Attack any ships that desert the fleet immediately. Unbelievable! They're firing at their own ships! I'll support the Uke fleet coming to our side. There are only four enemy planes. What a joke. You better not take any Uke damage. You siege sunk. Those planes, are you the lost planes? Bonnie Destroyer Judah, it is an honor to fight alongside you. Kestrel, we are joining our fleet. You have my gratitude. Look, the battle sea has taken a new turn. Someone out there understands us. I can't believe it. Sorry, my eyes are just tearing up looking at our new fleet. This is what we've been waiting for. I'll take full responsibility for this. This commence firing. Enemy fleet ahead. Commencing attacks. Our pilots are all afraid, saying that the Rosgreen are here. Here's whom Yaley sunk. What kind of an excuse is that? Tell them to hurry up and engage! There are still plenty of enemies left! They've got an overwhelming advantage in manpower. We'll be slaughtered! You it really takes more than manpower to win a battle. You just watch. Allied fleet approaching. Enemy, Lucian ships, you mean? Hmm. It's probably a waste of time, but try requesting some support. Looks like the Ocean fleet has been 
Chaos has subsided. All Yuktabanian ships in the area, as well as all hostile Ocean forces, have been brought under control. 
a decision was made to quickly form a combined fleet of Yuktabanian and Ocean ships with the Kestrel as its flagship. We've decoded the disc that the Major brought back with her. It contained the blueprints for a mass retaliation weapon, codenamed V2. A far more powerful weapon than the two tactical nukes that the Belt had used in the last war. It was never fully developed at the time, but it appears that they've secretly completed its construction in the 15 years since the war. The V2 is a MERV missile. It can wipe out half of all the large cities in either Osea or Yuktabanya. So where would they deploy it? It had to be in the Seoul, which was also secretly completed and is now operational. After all, it was built to function as an orbital platform for such weapons in the first place. The Seoul itself is unmanned, and was controlled from the ground, but we didn't know where. Then, the intelligence vessel Andromeda tracked down the origin of Shantse's transmissions to the Arkbird. It's in the former South Belka, a state entrusted to Ocean rules, and now called North Ocean. To be more precise, the transmissions originated from an experimental facility owned by Grunder Industries, a manufacturer of the weapons we use. The president of Grunder has sworn allegiance to Ocean, but in truth, he was a secret member of the Grey Men. Under the guise of their experimental facility, they are actually digging a gigantic tunnel under the mountain range that runs along the border dividing North and South Belka. Their ultimate goal is to reunite the two Belkas. And in that tunnel... The Kestrel just took a missile hit. Enemy unknown. We can't identify it in time. Additional missile approaching. Rosgris, launch immediately and gain altitude to escape. This will probably be the last time this ship launches an aircraft. So go ahead and pick the best plane we got in here. Pick whatever you want. We'll catapult it into the sky. We're going to get you up there no matter what, all right? Captain, please choose my plane. Captain, please choose a plane for me to pilot. Captain, which plane should I use? Are we launching in this formation? Ross Grease, launch! Second wave of missiles inbound! Ten seconds to impact! Counter with artillery barrage! We can't hit all of them! Brace for impact! We've been hit by two sub-launch missiles! The ship's listening! Launch them out! We can't! The ship's listening heavily to starboard! We're sinking fast! Continue with the launch! What? Take them up! Hurry up with the catapult! Just concentrate on launching them! All hands not conducting aircraft launch, abandon ship immediately! We're getting you guys into the air no matter what! I don't care what happens to the catapult! time and time again. 
But now, I finally won. Huh? Look, we launched them off safely. There's my victory. As long as they're in the air, I haven't lost. And I know they'll succeed. The captain was humming a tune. The same song I heard from the anti-war audience in the stadium. He was the one playing that record in the middle of a sea battle. This is President Harlan of the Ocean Federation. Attention all Ocean and Yuktobanian officers and soldiers currently on the battlefield. Let us put down our guns and come out of the trenches. The Ocean capital of Alred has been freed of the people who took advantage of my absence to usurp control of the country. Once robbed of my freedom and of my ability to do the right thing, I now stand again under the light of the golden sun. And I do so with the Honorable Utobanian Prime Minister Nicanor by my side. We have resolved our terrible and unfortunate misunderstandings, and the war is now over. This is Prime Minister Nicanor, Head of Government for the Union of Utobanian Republics. Attention all officers and soldiers of Osea and Yuktobania currently on the battlefield. Please watch as President Harlan and I stand shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand. President Harlan's words are true. The war is over, but there is one more battle that still needs to be fought. We believe that those who have tried to stir hatred between us are now preparing a weapon that could wipe out half of all metropolitan areas in either one of our countries. Our comrades are in flight as I speak, determined to stop this plan dead in its tracks. Which country is under the threat of mass destruction? That we do not know. However, that is no longer important. No matter which country is hit, it would be a severe blow to all of us. So now I ask you, members of the military, if you see it in your hearts, please utilize the resources available to you and help out our brave pilots. Right now they are flying east to meet the enemy. To those who still dare to hide behind the power of their hateful weapons, bring yourself before the light of peace and harmony. Those are Yuk fighters. This is the Yuktobanian 703rd Squadron. We heard the President's speech. We will fight with you. Let us sing that song too. We're going with you. So are we.
We will attack the Solg control system, located in a giant tunnel under the Valdrak Mountains. The tunnel entrance is located at the foot of the mountains, and the entire area is covered by mountains and waterways. First, an armored force will try to move in from the town to infiltrate the wharf where the entrance to the control system is located. There are several enemy defense positions built along the path that the armored force will take, so air support will be vital for their invasion. Meanwhile, a helicopter formation will attack the control system entrance and capture the nearby area. We're also expecting the helicopters to face anti-air resistance, so we'll need support to put down enemy fire around the entrance. Your squadron's mission is to protect the armored force and clear out a landing area for the Helleborn fleet. Once both units capture the facility entrance, a special forces team will open up the shutter blocking the way inside. Go through the open entrance and destroy the Solg control system from the inside. Industries has detected your approach and they're asking for help. The warmongers still left in both Osea and Yuktabania. Said they'd hand over the third V1 tactical nuke in exchange. They're hiding the more powerful V2 from them. Now listen, they're gonna be sending out fighter jets. This is the sky that will determine our fate. We've got to win this battle and bring back peace! As the commander in chief of the Osean Army, I hereby order all units to lower their weapons and cease fighting. Don't worry about the Yuk fighters. Get the war dog ghosts. Follow me. We're going to put an end to all wars once and for all. Whoa. Hamilton's here too. Be careful. He was trained by the Grabok aggressors. Mechanical parts discovered and destroyed enemy facility. Let's ask the ground forces to retrieve them later. Fox 2! Fox 2! Missile hit! The asphalt's crew and the plane shot down vehicles. by planes. The advancing Ocean and Yuktabanian forces have gathered in the industrial sector. We're gonna be disturbing a lot of it seems that once again, this area is caught up in the flames of war. This is the 112th Infantry Battalion. We were preparing to launch into Yuktabania, but the President's words convinced us to change our battle mission. Now commencing attack on the enemy facility. Our first fighter wing units, listen up. There go the air assault choppers. We're going in too. Fox 2, Fox 2. Oh, victory march, hurry up. Ah, just shoot down that lead plane and this will be all over. They'll learn soon enough. Our ranks can't be shot down. All right, there it is. Fox loaded, stand team. by. at the drop point. Air units, sweep up the area around the facility for us. Okay, we're leaving it to you. It looks like they were deployed recently. A lot more than we heard. Ground forces appear to have entered the urban area. Let's go to a reporter on the scene. A fierce battle is taking place across the street from where I stand. Look out! That nuke is ours, you dirty Ocean vultures. This is Ocean territory now. We're not letting the Yukes have their way. For a bumpy ride. The guys that are liable with the villains are fighting at each other. Look at them. Like a bunch of dogs from hell. Damn it. Looks like we really did open the gates. They can shoot at us from anywhere. Oh, Get come to this. It's them. They've dragged us all into this. The war dog the ghosts. The ghosts of Rosgreys. The ghosts of Rosgreys. Yeah! Let's get him! Get those bastards! This is Okanyeva! Listen up! Everyone in the choir! The enemies are all going after Razgris at once!
force is being delayed by a defensive line of pillboxes. They need some close air support bombing. Soldiers and officers on both sides, please emerge from your positions and shake hands with your foreign comrades on the other side. a blueprint of the tunnel facility on the Major's disc. The sole control system is in the deepest part of the tunnel. We can't touch it from the entrance. Fly into the tunnel, attack the control system in the deepest part of the complex, and escape out the tunnel exit on the opposite side. This is extremely dangerous, but there's no other way to do this. There are two central components to the control system. You must destroy them both, but you can only destroy one of them per attack run. Furthermore, the ground forces will not be able to keep the entrance shutters open for very long. There's not enough time for you to go back into the tunnel again after the first run. So, a separate plane will have to go in from the other side at the same time. We have only one chance. Synchronize your run with the second plane to attack both components simultaneously and destroy the sole control system.
shutters are closing. We gotta hurry. We'll be trapped inside. Push it up, or we're not gonna make it. The enemy planes that came in after Bartlett are still in the tunnel. Enemy planes dead ahead. We're being attacked from both sides. My threat warning alarms won't stop ringing. This is just insane from start to finish. Yep. But when we do finish this, it's gonna be for good. Emergency transmission from Central. The Solg's descent was detected by our radar at 0445 hours. We believe it was programmed to automatically descend if control was ever cut off from the surface. We have calculated the Solg's course of descent from its previous orbit. Its estimated landing point is downtown Aured, the capital of Osia. Get to the Solg's descent point as quickly as possible and destroy it before it hits Aured. You must complete the mission and come back alive. Anything less is not acceptable. Rosgrees, we wish you the best of luck. Launch! Your final sortie. It's almost kind of sad, huh? All right, launch preparations complete. out there, Roscrease. This is Okanieva. Hurry to the target area. The later you get there, the less time you'll have to attack the Sorg. The Sorg will descend to a vulnerable altitude in five minutes. The Solg is falling! We have to get to the Solg! Fast! Captain! Blaze! Blaze! Roger! Archer! Engaging! Roger! Swordsman! Engaging! Roger! Edge! Engaging!
light to the east. Morning's coming. Our night flight is over. I can't wait to see it. The most beautiful sunrise ever. And the sun will continue to rise now and forever. to see my brother come back home from Yuktabania. You ought to go make her happy too. We're almost done here. Two more minutes! Captain, I want to thank you. Captain Snow? Flying as a wingman again. I now know how my men felt. I vowed to myself that I would never lose another flight lead. And that's what's kept me flying up to now. So please, please, Blaze, let me fly as your wingman just a little while longer. Sork has fallen to an altitude low enough for you to attack. I know you can do this. Destroy it! I've received a data link from your guy, Pops, with the Sork's structural details. The Sork's outer shell is a rotating accelerator. The only way you can attack its core structure directly is through the gaps in this accelerator. That's bad news. This will be tough. We gotta stop that thing, Grim! I know! Captain Nagase! Yeah! Blaze, let's go! The Sog is 80 miles from the capital city, Aurid. It's falling. It's so huge. We gotta destroy it! Don't let it hit the ground in one piece! That's the Sog's core component. You can't hit it just by firing at random. Captain, we need you here! Shoot the panels. They should break easily. Watch out for the fragments falling off the Sog. I'm not gonna get done in by some falling fragments. Watch the rotation timing and we should be able to hit it. We have to aim through that? This is like threading a needle. We're still not doing enough damage to stop it, but... But we're the only ones who can. That's right! We have to stop it! I'm used to desperate situations, but this one is the worst! I can still move! I can still fly! We're gonna do this! Just believe in yourselves! The enemy's laid his strongest cards against us, but no matter. I won't let them finish us. Not here. I'm not through yet. This is for all my men who fell before me. Just a little bit more. Just a little more and we can stop this thing. This is our final flight. We'll get through this. You can see the soul fragments reflecting right in the air. All that's left of their hatred is this thing in front of us.
Raz Grease reveals itself, first as a dark demon. As a demon, it uses its power to rain death upon the land, and then it dies. However, after a period of slumber, Raz Grease returns, this time as a great hero. Peace has once again spread across the world. The aces of Rosgris never flew in the skies of battle again. Above the clouds, there was only a clear blue sky, no longer in need of heroes. And perhaps, that's exactly what they were hoping for, all this time.
Some way.